Welcome everybody to a new 2021 episode of Spill the Tea. It's been a long time since we've done a podcast. Um, I was originally meant to do this podcast last year during the first lockdown, but that didn't quite happen. Um, you know, global pandemic and everything. But we are back in 2021 and the last guest I was meant to have was Miss Lucy Carmelo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Insert applause. Um, how are you, Lucy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy to be here. And I, it's insane that it's 2021. I can't believe I know. It. This year has just gone by, hasn't it? it I, I still feel like we're, you know, in 2020 after 2019. Right? Like, it doesn't even feel you know. like... Like, it's still going on, like... Yeah, for me, we're still in 20. This is 2020 part two. Like, this is not even a different year. How's, how's the new year starting for you? Uh, 2021? Um, 2021. Uh, I mean, for me, it still feels like 2020 part two. It's uh, Right, it feels like it's con- continued. Yeah. It's, it's continuation. It, it's definitely continuation. For me, it's like when people go last year, I still think of 2019. I don't think of 2020. Yeah, so like 2020... No, yeah, 2020 is like a write-off, right? Yeah. I'm like, it's almost like for me, this is like the same year or it's a write-off completely. It's like, mm-hmm, no. Mm-hmm. So tell, tell, tell all the listeners who listen to Spirity, uh who you are, a little bit about yourself. Uh, who am I? Yeah, who is Lucy Camillo? <laughs> that question. I am a mystery. No, I'm joking. I am. <laughs> <laughs> a mystery to people who don't know like, you. Who don't know me. Uh, and so I'm Lucy Camillo. I'm a professional dancer and choreographer who lives in London. I've been living in London for eight years, but I'm originally Mexican and French, and I grew up in China and South Korea. Mm-hmm, there you go. So I know people that are curious to find out where, you, where you're from or like what your ethnicity is. So then that's a good thing to clear up. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I feel like I'm always a bit of an enigma in that sense. So. Yeah. So you said you are a dancer, choreographer. Um, how are you finding that? How how is that journey for you right now, considering the world that it is right now? So surprisingly, it's been great in a really weird way. It's been like so obviously like everybody else when I when the pandemic first happened, everything stopped, all the castings, all the jobs that I had lined up, mm. all the, um, the jobs that I had with teaching or dancing or choreographing, everything just stopped. Yeah. And obviously I had to do like every, every other dancer, which was adapt to online teaching. And I started gaining pri- private clients for one-on-one. And mm-hmm. for a while that kind of, I, it had like its benefits in a sense because I started to meet people. Like you would have thought that the original people that were taking my class before the pandemic yeah. that were taking my workshop magic my style workshop i'm sure you have questions for me for that yeah after. We, I, I will i'm gonna dive <laughs> into that a little bit just, later just not right slightly, now slightly slightly but i would have thought these were the people that would go online with me and somehow i found completely new people that had never taken my class before and mm, then mm, mm. I, they started taking private classes with me and etc like i started meeting completely new people through mm-hmm. online that had never yeah. met me that had only met me for instagram and when things started reopening again, it's like all of a sudden work started flooding in. Yeah, that's crazy, Which right? was yeah, I insane. Remember, I remember, like, I remember. Yeah, like, and I, d- I didn't expect it. I always thought that it would, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. And yeah. all of a sudden, like, uh, creating the VMA slash GMAs with Galen Yeah, Hooks, we're going to get into that too. I'm going to get into that too. <laughs> you know, all the music videos with Yellowfish. And yeah, I'm going to get into Yellowfish too. That's on my list too. Don't worry. And, uh, you, get you know, the TV commercial for BP Pulse and Phila, etc. Yeah. Like, it, it's been, I've been extremely blessed. Mm-hmm. Even if like I had some dreams that I not had to let go of, but it's still on hold up until I'm able to what, do what, what, what kind of dreams? What well, dreams I guess like I, I wanted to tour with an artist. Or, uh-huh, right, 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 like yeah. I wanted to, again, do the Magic My Style Workshop to a whole other level, etc. All, yeah. all these little things are things that I knew I was going to put them on hold and I just didn't expect I was going to have to put them on hold for more than a year. If somebody yeah. had told me that in you know 2021 we would still be in a national lockdown i would have said no probably not yeah like, no because everyone thought like yeah we're gonna go into lockdown three weeks and it's done exactly nope, that definitely didn't happen no. we're still in it right now like it, it's insane like i would have thought that at least we would have had a handle on things but i think it's like definitely like i'm having a hard time with the second lockdown however i do have to you know count my blessings that i've had for 2020 which have really mm. um changed something for me for sure like mm. As much as like I feel for some reason the second lockdown is a little bit harder for me mentally. Yeah. 
In what sense? Why, what have you found hard about it? I don't know. I feel like everything that worked for me in the first lockdown is just not working for me in the second lockdown. So, like, like what? Like, kind of things? let's just say, like, the first lockdown, I proved my flexibility massively. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I wasn't even able to do yeah, a you've been Yeah, you've been stretching. Everyone on the, on the, on the grams have been seeing well, your you know, progress. You're preparing stretching. myself for. A... Yeah, ah, okay, that's what she said. Right. I don't know who you're preparing for. Well, you know, hopefully Damn. Prince Charming will appreciate yeah. my efforts. Prince Charming, <laughs> well, yeah, we'll find out where that like, is. Who, who yeah, but you've been stretching is. a lot. Mm -hmm. You've been um, who you've been following? Is it Melissa? Uh, yes, Melissa Eleni. Yeah, she has mm -hmm. her own studio called P uh, Pilates Peach, and it's been yes. Go follow that. Plug. Absolute, abs absolute, Absol <laughs> absolute. She said, <laughs> My absolute. God. I was like, foreigner's problem. Yeah. <laughs> so she, she's been an absolute game changer for me, and it's helped me have a routine. And then I was taking fitness classes with uh, Israel Scott, which has yep. his own company called Fitness BKS. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm sorry, but he made me look like a bomb, like in a space of like. 12 weeks which mm -hmm. is like insane even by the third week like my obliques were popping out etc yeah. so i'm like yeah and we were training every Just in time day for summertime i remember yeah, the, exactly. i remember you started throwing photos out there it was like boom <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that flex was real the 2020 flex and then you had the tan too because it was hot it was hot over that fast oh, lockdown. I know. Guys, this is no unrepresentative. I'm, I'm pale as hell. Like, like this is representative fun. of my Mexican blood. Like, this yeah. is terrible. I That's really terrible. Hell, like, okay, I wish we could have gone and got some sun, but yeah, that didn't so, happen. Yeah. Um, you mentioned you worked with Fila on something. I know you've you've taught for them online and stuff, but you recently did like a campaign or you've done, you did some work for them. How, how was that? Talk us through that experience. Yes. Um, and what so that was about. basically, they've asked me to. Uh, choreograph and help set up with the company that mm -hmm. i work with called yellowfish which is a production mm -hmm. company yeah we yellow were, what, what do yellowfish do what do yellowfish do they do a lot of things yeah yeah <laughs> uh they're, so their production company they do a lot of music videos however uh -huh. they also do a you lot of name uh, some music videos they've done uh we've like done a lot of chips no music video we've Chip. done a Yee. lot of uh uh, stormzy's music video a lot yeah. of steph london's music videos to yeah. name a few we're pretty much and when it comes to grime and it comes to hip hop in the UK, we're pretty much one of the leading mm -hmm, mm -hmm, companies yeah. out there. How, for sure. how big is uh, Yellowfish? Like in terms of the team, like is there the team is surprised? So the core team in itself, we're very intimate. We're quite small. Mm -hmm. There's about, I'd say in the core team, we're about six. Okay. However, yeah, like, yeah, it's a, it's, it's very intimate and it's a, it's a very family environment. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have people that we work outside that yeah, we, that works with us etc like yeah, certain yeah, yeah. Uh, certain dops yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. certain steady cams certain like yeah yeah dp etc 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 crew and stuff yeah yeah <laughs> you said dp twice but yes we'll let that slide so how, how did you get onto yellowfish's radar like how did you end up working with with uh, Yellowfish? So I've been working with them for a little while. There's moments where uh, we've met each other on jobs because I was mm -hmm. hired as a choreographer or as a dancer yep. or as a model, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And then little by little, like they've asked me more and more directly to choreograph certain music videos. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I think during the pandemic, I was looking for something to stimulate me a little bit more, pun not attended. <laughs> 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 And I've asked, you know, if there was anything I could help with, etc. And yeah. then next thing you know, they told me, you know what, we'd actually really love for you to become part of the team officially and become mm -hmm. part of the production team itself. So. Oh, that's dope. Because, like, I know there's a lot of dancers out there that, who, or even choreographers in the UK that are trying to get on that road to be consistently choreographing music. The only, only other person I can really... Or people I can name is, like, Suzette, who's constantly on different jobs. Um... And she got onto that world. I remember her growing up. Um, she was a dancer. And then she got into the into choreographing and being creative directors and yeah. stuff. And then there's a few others as well. So I'm pretty sure there's other people who would want to know how to even get onto that. Like how? Like what advice would you give them to like to get onto the path that you're on, well. so they can follow in your footsteps? <laughs> follow my footsteps. You know. Yes. Um. So an advice. So I think like obviously there's no blueprint, mm -hmm. and obviously if I, I, my personal belief is that there is no blueprint for anything. But it's just not as clear. Like if you were to work for a corporate company, yeah. you know you'd have to interview, and then you get the job, and then you might go into certain position and then you have promotion, yeah, yeah, yeah. etc. I always feel very creative in every aspect, whether it's a dancer, a choreographer, a director a videographer mm -hmm. there's no blueprint in itself like i know a lot of the stuff that worked for me worked because of my personality and mm -hmm. etc especially as a dancer well, what kind of personality is that because then I'm, I'm, what I'm kind very, of personality is everyone to I, have I feel so i feel like i'm very bold I, yeah. i'm extremely like i've uh 
you don't, know you, if you don't ask you don't get kind of exactly person. like i'm that person that that's always been kind of not fake it till you make it but like i'm just I'm going to try to make my own opportunities out there. So whether it was like, even I remember as a dancer, I, at the time when I first started a couple of years ago, I had absolutely like, I had no job, professional jobs and I had no professional footage. So what did I do? I actually hired a videographer and I asked. Is this when you first came to London? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Go look those videos up. Oh God. They're They're on her YouTube channel. (laughs) But you know what? (laughs) With the the chunky (laughs) heels. Oh she God. has the chunky heels. Guys, oh, please look forgive it me. It was 2016. Let's, wow. let's, like, <laughs> let's, get, let's let this slide. <laughs> the Fresh Lucy. But however, Fresh Lucy, you know what? It served her well because mm. like these photos itself, and I will always remember, and I think it was uh, Dwayne Taylor. Yeah. Got me one of my first biggest job, which was yeah. a TV commercial for Jennifer Lopez. Oh, and, damn. And was for me, like it was insane because... Like uh, DJ Lo. DJ Lo. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. It was for uh, Copel Canada which is mm. her brand in back in Mexico okay. that we shot in Portugal. Hence you being Mexican. Exactly. Yeah, which helped, which helped because they were looking for Latinos and specifically Mexican. Yeah. But at that time, I had barely done anything. Not yeah, even low budget music experience. video. I had absolutely yeah. no, like I've trained and I was pushing myself, but yeah. I had absolutely no, no showreel to really showcase what I yeah. can do now. However, I took it upon myself to, you know, decided to get really amazing headshots, mm-hmm. which I did. Like I paid, so I paid, I think, three fifty in total for the makeup artist, etc. cetera. Um, I even asked an agent who wasn't my agent at the time, like who he recommends. Yeah. And this is what I mean. Like I've, I've... Being smart. Exactly. I would ask, I would ask question and, you know, just ask for advice. And sometimes you can, you know, people can tell you to F off. Yeah. But in general, I've noticed they they don't really tell you that or they'll just tell you they can't help you but for me and then the first thing i will always remember actually and this is probably something that will help people is that i remember because i saw that job on the hustle when the hustle mm-hmm. was still a big the thing hustle on facebook time. yeah facebook groups i don't know i if think people, that's i, I think don't know still people alive. still is that still a thing i think it's like, still alive I, I mean i took myself out of that group because everyone was looking for different things there from okay. like houses and but i remember and, them when I don't people know if would anymore. definitely put like when they were looking for even proper jobs and big jobs yeah. they would still put yeah, something yeah, yeah. so i remember Dwayne posted that when he was saying I'm looking for uh, dancers, two, three dancers, male and female, for a TV commercial for a job they're looking for, Latinos, mm-hmm. Mexican. And I remember because I saw the job so late. Like I saw it at like half past midnight, 1 a.m. or something. And and when, was that the, the deadline had gone already? It's not that. It's like, so he had, he didn't put any deadline. Okay. But, but I saw that it was posted like seven hours ago. Okay. And yeah, there was yeah, about yeah. 300 comments. I'm not even joking, like 300 comments. And then... Yep. He popped one of his comments popped up where he said, "Guys, please stop sending, sending emails with your CVs, etc. Because I, ha- I have too much uh, yeah. people applying for this." Yeah, yeah. And I think at the time, and again, insecurities, etc., kicked in, and I was like, "Damn it, I missed my chance. Damn it, I'm like mm-hmm, too late." Mm-hmm. And I don't know what happened that time. Something told me like, "No, you know what? Just send it. Mm-hmm. Just send it. Who cares? Yeah. What the, what's the worst that can happen?" Yeah. Like. Nobody air. replies to my yeah. reply to my email, and I kid you not, I send those headshots, and I just send this little CV that I had that I made at the time, and yeah. he replied to me instantly saying, "Oh my God, your headshots are amazing." Damn, that's and I'm what it took. not even joking. And then later on, I found that that he fought for me and another girl and another guy to be all three together in the mu- in the TV commercial because at right. the beginning they just wanted a couple. Yeah, and he basically pushed so hard to have all three of us on this. Mm, that's dope. Which for me, it just means you got to ask. Obviously, yes, it's about connection. Yes, it's mm-hmm. about all of this, but connection comes from you meeting people yeah. and i think a lot of the time again that's what i mean it depends on your personality because I, I know some dancers for example that they sent an email to an agency got signed and they got sent regular work all the time whereas this wasn't my this wasn't my experience even though i had to work hard to just to get signed already and even yeah. as i got signed it's i never got regular regular work every week I had to always kind of find my own opportunities and search for work and whether it was through the hustle etc and I think the more I started continuing doing my own things doing my own projects uh, continuing posting things about me and I grew my social media yeah in the best way I knew how to at the time it just all these things I've always been very proactive when it came to that and that worked for me and I know I've met some people where they're like that oh that's just not me I don't I'm not very active when it comes to this and it's totally fine because things work differently but for me I've always noticed that if I do something for myself somebody's going to notice at some point yeah and I had a conversation with uh Yasmin Ogbu 
if you mm -hmm. know her back uh, oh, was, uh freckles. big hair freckles yes, 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 yes i was yes. gonna say i was gonna and, say uh, yeah so you were saying uh freckles yes so i had a conversation with freckles uh i actually great example of that like uh she was like somebody that i looked up to like crazy because right. she was like you know had done so many she was in the industry for like what 10 years and still is now yeah and I remember like in the agent uh, I was talking to at the time, he he was always praising her and what she did. And mm -hmm. I remember I just messaged her on Facebook out of nowhere because yeah. uh, she had liked one of my photos on Instagram. And then I, I requested her on Facebook yeah. and I just kind of asked her, hey, like, I don't want to bother you, et cetera, but I'd love to take you out for coffee and just have your just advice your on certain things, et cetera. Yeah. Just to pick your brain, if that's cool, I'd love to take you to lunch. Yeah. And I thought, oh my smart, God, like I could smart. I could really like, you know, somebody could go, who the hell is this weirdo? Go away. Like, but you that's know, a good way because yeah. I feel that people are like, oh, you're going to take me out to lunch. <laughs> I like free food. I'm going to go, even though I don't know you. I mean, I'm that person. If you take me out for food, yeah, I'm never see, no. food, take that advice. Food is for, food is for my heart, absolutely. Yeah, and, like, and she ended up, we had a long conversation and we became friends and I remember she always because like at the time I think I was young in my head you know yeah. like, like I remember there used to be a time where I my dream like you know you know when you have these dreams that are so yeah. unattainable you're like <laughs> it's like asking to have you know a mention on the water or something yeah and like I remember my biggest dream was to feature in a TV commercial yeah where now when you think about it I featured in so yeah you, many you featured in quite a lot right now but back you know four years ago four or five years ago it yeah. was it, it was almost i couldn't imagine it, it i yeah. didn't know it was like it felt so unattainable yeah i could see those uh, dancers on tv when they did like house of fraser or anything like that and i was mm -hmm. like no there's christmas commercials like, yeah i know you know and i was always like oh my god like if i could only just you know oh my god if i could ever in my life feature in one not yeah. knowing now which is like that could you know the, my mm. cv has grown exponentially it's yeah. insane and i remember but she said but what's your dream and i was like you know like i want to be backup dancing on this she's like yeah but lucy what's like the real dream was the real goal and i didn't understand what she meant yeah at the time and she was like lucy take it for somebody who's been doing this for 10 years yeah like there it's a dead end yeah and it was insane yeah, yeah i remember her ha like, telling me mm. that at some point because she said that to me but i wouldn't listen because you know mm, i was like yeah, no but, you don't, you're like i don't care yeah like, i just want to get to where you're at you know yeah, i want to do know, what know, you know, did etc and then i think i did think about it for a few seconds and i told her you know like i think i'd love to like you know do artistic direction and mm -hmm. choreograph and she was like well why are you not focusing on that right now yeah and it's yeah, just yeah i guess i was following this dream because Again, you know, when you're like 21, 22, it's something like, well, 20 at the time, uh, was something where you just kind of, you want to take because you see everybody else. And I think yeah. social media has made that really prominent because you see all these Ooh, people. social media. Mm -mm. You know? And it's, and I, I kind of realized when I started working towards choreographing certain things, like, you remember that? A couple of years ago, I was terrified of even <laughs> choreographing. <laughs> yeah, like, I, this remember, is I remember. I remember filming one of your first cho uh, choreo videos. Yes. When I met <laughs> you. And I was terrified. That and we I didn't even for, put out. Like, <laughs> 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 Guys, I'm sorry, that didn't know. Uh, <laughs> like, I still have that footage. <laughs> but even that was a stepping stone, you yeah. know, for me to just say, you know what, let me film something. And yeah. We barely knew each other at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, it was just kind of like, we, we tried something and then now look at the some of the stuff we've done yeah i think it's, it's just uh, trying will always be and not even trying just doing yeah. doing no matter what is something i would always do whether it's mm. like well you know what let's film this video you know what i want to choreograph to that song let's do it oh you know what i kind of want to show a mock uh, yeah. a mock award show something and i think thank you is it yeah, no, that's good. That's oh, good. Your hair was just like in the microphone. Oh, sorry. It's <laughs> my bad. That's why I've got the headphones and <laughs> like, 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 audio. No, it's I'll fine. Just put that back. And, and I think so that's my advice. It's like, do things that are authentic. Don't just do them because you think you have to do them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's certain, but I think don't overwrite anything just because you, if it comes from insecurity. And when I mean that, it means, like, I think because I came from a very underground background of dance. Not a lot of people know that. Well, yeah. at least the people that met me in the commercial world. But, like, yeah, all the underground head knows I come as a popper and I've done a lot of battles and et cetera. Like, I was very much into the underground scene before. Damn. And I used to be part of, you know, this... Like, underground people have a tendency, and I understand because they come from the love of, like, the styles and they mm. come, but we have a tendency to be like... F commercial, like yeah. they have no passion when they dance. Forget blah, blah, the studio blah. dancers. Exactly. You know, yeah, there was always this kind of weird, the I wouldn't say war, but there was like a division between yeah. the underground dancers and the studio dancers, yeah. the commercial dancer. And then, you know, there's certain things. So for such a long time, I was like, yeah, not a commercial dancer. I will never go in commercial dancing. Blah, blah, blah. Look at you now. And like, look at me now. I know. Like, people always refer to me as that sexy commercial girl. And I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and then that's why even when I do hip hop choreos, they get so confused. And I'm like, I was like, this is because. That's you know, how you started. 
and it's also it's it's two different side of me uh it's one thing like i i never write anything off because i found some amazing training in the mm -hmm. choreography environment mm -hmm. in the commercial environment that i then as well as i did i think if it's something if you tried it and you put a lot of effort into it and you're like you know what i'm not really enjoying this then that's fine but if you're never trying if you're never it's kind of like online classes you can't say you didn't like them if you didn't at least you take mm -hmm. a couple of classes yeah you know what i mean it's like you i'm like that but i know some people but it's normal it's insecurities it's kind of like the fear of trying and being judged mm -hmm. it, it's still something sometimes that i have to push away but i think this is what saved me to be able to just become a whole different person right 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 we were talking about the feeler thing we kind of swayed away from <laughs> Sorry, that for the whole time i just remembered it's like what was my original <laughs> question and that's like the first question that's on my list the feeler job how yes. did that come about like how was that for how was that whole experience that whole experience was um it's kind of like everything you'd be surprised like everybody mm -hmm. thinks it's super glamorous which it is yeah. sometimes you know there's been jobs where i've been treated like an absolute queen and i'm like yeah. oh my god like, like what do you want to, what do you want for lunch we got you. Yeah, it's like... You want lobster? <laughs> got you. Well, I think the realized where I was really in power is when somebody asked me for a coffee and I don't know, I was just having like, I didn't sleep well or something yeah. like that. And I just kind of went, can I have an iced vanilla latte with like vanilla syrup? And then there... And she just went, okay, let me write that down. Cool, cool, I'll be right back. And I was like... <laughs> and then I remember somebody on the studio was like, oh my God, she gets to have like an iced vanilla latte with this and that on top. Where, like, and I, was I, like, just, I, just, I just asked for <laughs> coffee. Like, I was like, like, you know, go get the white, kettle. Black how many sugars? <laughs> I was like, how many sugars? Which was actually insane so it's certain things like that where yeah. but with the fill that i think it's because we we took on such a big project which yeah. was we actually build in a studio which is funny because yeah. i've had yeah. a few people ask me on instagram if i actually flew to la <laughs> <laughs> it's like, did you film to that studio <laughs> yeah, because, shot that? so i think Do you want to talk about the inspiration behind it like, yes and the, and the look behind it so the, um, the reason like that gives it context yeah. so basically we we the whole idea the treatment that we sent to fill out was yeah we wanted to recreate the me and you cassie videos yep. if you're a 90s baby baby what is it's going not on 90, it's not 90, it's just, that's millennials that's 2000s <laughs> yeah that's not because that's 2006 2000s. but i feel yeah, like yeah. if you're born in 2006 you might have not necessarily know it but how do you know no, what I mean? yeah I mean, it's that's like, it's more aimed at the 90s the 90s, 90s babies. and early 2000 I'd yeah say. yeah yeah but it's like no because somebody went and i went you know me and you cast a video and they looked at me like i was talking about yeah i don't know because <laughs> i think the generation these days wouldn't necessarily know too much about that music yeah Exactly, which was like they were still little babies growing up, you know. Exactly, but you know what? We were babies. We were nine, ten when this came mm -hmm. out. You know, what I mean, we're you got to remember, I'm I'm older than you, <laughs> so I already knew I was really <laughs> bumping <laughs> Cassie, me and you. Listen, I was like, you know this? I mean? and she was half Philly. I was like, yes. <laughs> but that's not even for me. She was like hot. Like yeah. I remember trying to redo all her moves, and it's funny <laughs> watching at it now. Like, like trash. Like you know, that means like, what the hell? It's just this. Like, <laughs> like it's just like a little pop to the side, a little like you know that movement she does when she goes on the table. And I thought that oh was insane, God. and I tried. Yeah, I at the time, that was like, the, that was the thing to recreate it because, like, I would come to Europe because we didn't have the European channels when I was yeah. in China. So every time I came, I would seriously watch the what was it called, like the music video channels, like the top yeah. fifty, and I would just watch this on repeat just to be yeah. able to watch that video so I could redo the moves. <laughs> that is like so. Yeah. Like me, I'm kind of like there was no internet like back then. <laughs> you could just yes, load it up. We're, we're mm. the one generation that got to know the life with value yeah, YouTube yeah, as a yeah. as a you know tutorial method. But it, so we decided to recreate all of that. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if you know London, studios are not like LA. Like you yeah. don't have, I'm not even sure this is a real studio in LA. I'm pretty sure this studio was also built. Probably. I, I'm pretty it would sure. I wouldn't be there surprised. There was a conversation I've had with uh, the owner of Yellowfish, Luke Biggins, which was like, no, this is a built-in studio. If you look at the lights outside, it's fake. It's fake. Yeah. Uh, it's fake sunset. It's fake, etc. Well, that's why he was like, yeah, we can recreate exactly. this. Exactly. Which was basically, you know, you had to find the space. Yeah. And you had to find space big enough and the space that would be okay with us, you know, Building putting Elstra there. floor and painting yeah, the walls yeah, black yeah. and etc. Where did you, where, where, where did, where uh, was so it? So we used this warehouse in Tottenham Hill. Yeah. Which I think is called it's Village 101 Village Studios. 101. Yes. And Mutti, they were, yes. Shout you out. <laughs> yes, shout see outs. you, see you. And it was, so they were lovely, like to let us use it and, you know, get there we had to get there a couple of days earlier to build it mm. because we had to put in the floors and etc yeah, yeah, and yeah. The, the mirrors and also we had to find all the accessories to basically fill the space to make it look like the studio it was yeah. so it was um it was hectic because it's not as easy in the sense of like I feel like spaces are so different in London. The way things work is different. Yeah. And we had to kind of go everywhere to try to refine all these vintage things who don't necessarily exist anymore. Yeah. Like, 
like the speaker with the actual cone showing. You'd be surprised yeah. that it doesn't exist anymore. You yeah. find just the big black box that everybody yeah. sees in clubs. And so all these things made it, uh, made it like, oh my God, we need to do this. And obviously deadlines come and you have to make sure that everything's at the at the standard that you want it. Yeah. But, oh. <laughs> Sorry. What's, carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah. So it was like, you want to make sure everything's at the standard that you want it. And then at the same time, obviously you have to meet the deadline of when it is to be delivered, when it is to be. So actually like on set, it took a lot longer than we expected, which meant that we finished a lot later than we yeah, expected. Yeah, I remember. It was like, oh shit, it's midnight. And it was like, yeah, it was like, like, we were on set for probably like what, 14 hours, something like that. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. probably like actually the, the directors and the production team was actually on there since 5 a.m. in the morning. They not a bit, longer. like since 5 a.m. So they were yeah. there for like, almost 24 hours. That's how yeah, insane yeah. this was. And yeah, so it was, it was definitely like, it was one of a kind for me. I think like that was like a dream come true of mm. like, if you had told me, you know, when I was, a then, video. yeah, Damn. like if somebody told me I would star in a, in a, like, you know, an homage of me and you cast a video would be yeah. insane. Like I would have never believed it because it was Damn. like such a big thing when I was younger. Okay. That's cool. That's all, <laughs> that, that sounds like a, cra a crazy experience. I remember coming onto the set after doing what I was doing and I came to help out. Um, it was crazy. I was like, this actually looks like the set. This actually looks like the video right like. now. And you're just doing this for Phelan. What, what did Phelan say about it? Oh, they were, they were over the moon, actually. Because, you know... We both know that. Usually when you send something to the client, you expect, you know, can you, can you, can like, you do change this? that? Can you change that? that? Can you, know, you edit this? Yeah, can you yeah. do something more? And they were just like, we send them everything and they were like, oh my God, the quality is insane. That was like pretty <laughs> much their feedback, which was, I, I think like even for us, it was something where it was like, oh my God, I can't believe we did this. Yeah. And yeah, so they were, they were extremely happy with the result, which I, I thought that was amazing feedback on their part. Oh, so my next question was going to be, um, your best music video experience. What was one of your favorite music videos that you worked on oh, wow. throughout your career? Throughout my career, as a choreographer or as a dancer? Let's do both. Let's do both. So okay. let's start with dancer and then as a choreographer. Oh boy. I, I feel like I need to remember <laughs> all the music videos that I've done and what stood out to me the most. Let's see. I feel like I know what you might your what your, what your most favorite dance one might might be. I don't really? know. Okay. I want to mm. say the Jazu one in the, oh in the God, desert. Oh my God, that even come in my mind? How is that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you choreographed that, but I know you was a dancer oh in it too. How did I forget about this? <laughs> that was when you guys were in the desert, when you and Wendy oh in the God. desert Absolutely. and stuff. Absolutely, yeah, that was it. Okay, okay, cool. Um, huh. Okay, cool. Okay, that's actually one of them. I was going to say as a dancer, mm -hmm. I would say one of the most interesting one was definitely the Jazu wild video. Uh -huh. Like that was an insane moment, not just because it went to like 2 million views in the space of a day, but wow. also because like I got to, you know, shoot in a freaking desert. Uh -huh. <laughs> like we rented a desert. Who does that? You rented a desert? I didn't we know that. I thought you could just go, go to the no, desert. No, we, we I rented. I mean, no, yeah, no. We I'm, got I'm, given I'm the lying. keys of the desert of Almeria. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get <laughs> we, it, I get we it. Shot it. You in, have to get permission, yeah. of course. We, we, like we shot in Spain, so in the yeah. Almeria desert. But it was also like how we were treated. Like so, every time we would have a cut, there'd be a guy coming to me with an umbrella, yeah, just for to shade. like shade yeah, me, and like you know. And I had like constant. There was constant drinks of everything I wanted uh -huh. throughout the day, Damn. and etc. Like and the tan that I got after. Oh okay, my god! Yeah, I remember. So I remember. little, little. What was that? Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, for me, it's still two years ago. <laughs> yeah. I, doesn't feel like three years ago because yeah. well, technically, it's not because it was it's like, not. Yeah, it's two years. Definitely. Two years. Yeah, but definitely. Oh, yeah, 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 and, a, and yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, so, because I was wearing those fishnets. Yeah. Uh, so, basically, oh, you had the tan one line, spot that I forgot to put sunscreen on. So, basically, my butt looks like a steak. Like, <laughs> film come off the grill. That's just been come off the grill. And I was my like, ass is <gasps> hot off the grill. And throughout the whole summer, even though it was getting, like, you know, more blurry, I could still kind of see those little <laughs> lines. It was really faint. Oh really faint. <laughs> I was like, so that, but my tan was insane. It's like, I swear to you, it's like, bye. 6 a.m. I was French, and by yeah. 6 p.m. I was Mexican again. Damn. Like, it was insane. You were working in the sun. That's what's happening. We were really properly working in the sun. Like, it's like my, 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 you know, my complexion came back instantly. So mm. that was definitely one. Um, what the, about chore as a choreographer? As a choreographer, this one was de would definitely be one of my top three for sure. Okay. What was, what's another t uh, top one? Um, as a, you being your music video as a choreographer. So they, this, oh, it's, um, if I had to pick one. I think... In terms of artist development, would have been uh, Soundboy's music video, 
because of how, oh, okay yeah 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 um, of how the concept uh, so uh, you Emirate. make me feel hot yes with mm-hmm. uh everett everett, everett. Music, Emirate. Yeah. i said emmer like, it's ever <laughs> sorry <laughs> if he watches this i'm oh, sorry i butchered <laughs> your name <laughs> like because it was just like the the yeah, complexity of the whole choreography was f- uh, like was chore- yeah. like, sorry the whole video was choreography and yeah he put so much work into it and he had never danced he did before. he did it came out pretty good yeah. Like, that, yeah like it was just like you know the level of the dances that we had on this music video was yeah. insane that was great Shout that was to amazing. you guys yeah Shout I out, like they just the whole thing looked amazing and considering we were working on a very limited budget yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I, I was extremely proud of that one uh however when it comes to like the level of artists i think graftar yeah, I was gonna say. I was, I was gonna say. Me, me and um, <laughs> uh, me and Naz were talking about that today. Like the move, the move uh, music video. Yes, that, that's the, probably one of our favorites. The the move music video was definitely one of my favorite. Being able to, you know, that why we've been able to pull up again in like you know choreographing the night before till two a.m. Yeah. because. Well. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, that was like, that time, wasn't it? <laughs> it was January last year. It was, was it literally January? like yes, it was. Oh, yeah, it was like, beginning. So it was, it was beginning. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. we were so End of busy. January, we were like, yeah, twenty twenty is our year. Oh, well, twenty twenty was our year technically, because yeah, like especially before the pandemic, it was yeah, before going, March, it was, it was busy. I was like, right. I'm popping like, like every you know, week. I've got something the going on. Yeah, and the music videos and the and then, projects, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. insane. It was it that was actually a fun, a fun time. I remember that. I remember that shoot. Like even though it was cold in certain parts of the building, I remember it being very cold. Well, that's the thing. I just remember because I don't. You know me by it's like when i'm in that zone i just i just it's you're like, so into it yeah that i just get really hot wired and it's yeah, like yeah, so yeah. i felt actually super warm for other whole shoots <laughs> lucky for some <laughs> the dancers are super cold they're like oh cold we're cold where's I my know, jacket they were like they were like whereas for me i was like i was actually boiling like the entire yeah. time which was so that video as a choreographer was actually amazing and like raftar is such an amazing artist he mm-hmm. he just oozes um confidence but he's also so humble yeah he, he is i remember meeting him that day i was like damn this guy is so lovely. cool and he's such a great dancer as well yeah, like he's an yeah, actually yeah, trained yeah, dancer yeah. in hip-hop which makes it so much easier for mm. absolutely everything and um like just the level of the video the um, yeah the lighting that we had everything like the um, the set designs that we did was yeah, absolutely insane it was for dope, this one. It was dope. It was dope. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so we did. Uh, we spoke a little bit about uh, music. Music video. <laughs> music video. Yeah, music videos. Um, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, your Galen Hook submission Ooh. that you did earlier this year. Yes. Uh, this year, last year, <laughs> last. Uh, you no, see what le- I mean? It feels like it's this yeah, year. Yeah, <laughs> last year, last year. It was last year, like um, what was it? September. Mm-hmm. August, Mm-mm. August, August. Because I remember you wanted my help with it and I wasn't even in the country. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, you were in Portugal. I was in Portugal. Yes. I was like, oh, I can't even help you with this. Mm. But yeah, talk, talk oh through that. Because like, yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing that and then I, all of a sudden, um, I, I remember seeing posts on Instagram for it and then all of a sudden I see your name and a poster of you like being one of the finalists. I was like, what? <laughs> What's going on? What's go- like, what is this? So it was, um, it was funny because it was something like a kind of like at the time you know like i said at that time work had picked up back up again so yeah. it was already like i was choreographing other music videos yeah, and yeah, i yeah. was like booked on certain jobs and i was auditioning a lot more and so it was one of my friend b yeah decided to she was like oh my god you should totally apply for that and i was like okay cool let me have a look i'm yeah. having a look and i'm like oh my god for the vmx that sounds insane yeah let's go for like you know what why not so i kind of took like the artillery i had at my disposal and i kind of went to yellowfish and i was like hey can He's somebody like, yo luke <laughs> i need your help i was literally like i went help to luke, me. and i was like look uh i need some help like putting a treatment together so then uh, me and rebecca yeah which is one of the main directors for yeah. yellowfish really amazing director uh she she was kind of like she was like a hey, cool like uh let's why don't we brainstorm ideas so we mm. came up with this idea of at the, at the time because it was obviously the vmas happening in new york we were thinking you know proper new york district yeah. all the different side and diversity of cultures in new york blah 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 so we built the whole treatment around like kind of a hip-hop musical yeah. that was taking you through the different boroughs of mm-hmm. boroughs is that even american thing that's such an english thing that's a, that's <laughs> the english different thing. neighborhood of, yeah. uh, of of new york and so then I presented that live. Actually, I had to submit that just to Gaelic Hope itself. And yeah. then she picked eight people 
mm-hmm. out of all the submissions uh, that there was. And then we had to basically pitch it to her on IG Live. Right. After. So This which, is before everything got announced. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Like, and then from there, so we pitched it all, people were watching it live, et cetera, et cetera. And then obviously, like, because I was the, everybody else was from either New York or LA, and I was yeah. the only one that was from London. Yeah, you were representing. Outside, I was like, you know? yes, let's go. <laughs> London in so, the So, like, house. the whole London game was like, yeah. So, like, even Galen was like, oh my God, like, the amount of, like, London love is insane right now. Yeah, yeah. listen, because so, you're the, you were the only one that. Well, I think you was. A, I believe you was the only one that applied. Yeah, it was like, or or at least that made it that to that made it round. The, like, yeah, 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 that yeah, made yeah. it till there. So then after that, when they were, uh, what she said, basically, we, you had to pick D. You had to only pick one out of the eight. You had to pick one that you wanted, and mine was one of the last, uh, one of the three that was gonna get picked to right, be done. Okay. So when they announced it, but I think I just didn't understand how insane the project was up until because yeah. up until then it was all like oh what if i win yeah cool it's great yeah yeah and then it was like right like uh gailing her posted on on her instagram lucy's one of the finalists and then it was you know it was midnight for me yeah and it was like okay you need to go on the zoom call like in 20 minutes huh? and i remember because i was at the restaurant at that point with uh, my friend yeah and i was like in the uber trying to like put on my zoom and be like oh, <laughs> i'm right here i'm, I'm right in there. The, yeah this is how we do it i mean <laughs> i was like you know it's, it's like crazy. like they were like you know you can clearly tell i've been out yeah, <laughs> like yeah, what yeah. everybody else is like daytime in their place yeah and from there it was snowball like everything went so fast like i think even to me today to say that it took me four days to not just put it together but to go from the idea to the finished product in yeah. four days is yeah, insane. That's, that's the life. That to think that four days before the final product, this project did not exist. It's not like something yeah. we've been thinking about for months and then we decided to put in. Uh-huh, it's like, uh-huh. there was no, it was like, oh, cool, you have this idea? Cool, make it happen by Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, it felt, and I felt so overwhelmed because it was like, why did I pick a hip hop musical? Why did I say? <laughs> it was like, you know, going from like a hairdresser to the streets of New York to yeah. like, you know, the working downtown. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, why did I pick such an impossible project? Yeah. And then like, yeah, it was the same thing. I was this close to quit, to be honest with you. There was, there was little moments where I was like, you know, like I said, insecurities, what if yeah. I can never make it happen? And then my friends were all like, Lucy, you can totally do this. And B was like, look, you know what? We're going to make this happen. Start thinking logically. Start thinking with emotion. At the yeah. moment, you don't even have a rehearsal space. So pick up your rehearsal space right now and book it right now. And then yeah. let me think a little, when I started making those lists, yeah. that's when... Start getting things, things done. Like, exactly. And then uh, Galen was really helpful in many, many things. And I think even for all of us, like uh, all the dancers I picked. And yeah, on top of that, I had the most dancers. I had 23 dancers on set. Like, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? We're you old. shut down the whole of Carnaby Street. <laughs> what it's the hell? Okay. You, everyone was like, "How?" Do, when I remember when the video came out, I was like, "Okay, let's see what Lucy did." <laughs> I was like, "Yes, the video is out." I can't even remember when it came. When did it come out? Like, it came out this- beginning of August. No, sorry, mid August. So I think the nineteenth of August, something like that. Or something it was like definitely that. on the tenth. Something around that. It was definitely mm. beginning for sure. Yeah, no, it was no, after. No, it was end, after. it was end for sure. It was yeah, end, because no, I was still away. Yeah, yeah. I remember being mm. in Portugal watching it. Yes, so I think it was, it was definitely end mid or end of August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. watching, yeah, I was yeah. like, damn, how the hell did you like lock down the whole of Carnaby <laughs> Street? It's like, shit, you mean business. I was like, well, I think you know me by now. It's like, I'm not one of those people, I just, I never half-assed anything. Yeah, of like, course. I, I, I almost like, I want, sometimes I'll, I'm very... I'm very, I'm like a sponge. It's like, cool, I'm happy to let go of things if it's like, okay, well, you know what? This can happen, but I always want to go to the best I can. And I think this project was also something for me, like, again, a stepping stone as a choreographer, something else to do. Because I've Mm -hmm. choreographed awards, uh, like, sorry, award shows before, but this would be something completely different. And when was I ever going to... This is like a live performance of... of, Exactly, of of not just that, because when I choreographed... uh, like the Mama Awards, for example, yeah. like it was obviously the concept was kind of set for me and then I had yeah, to make yeah, the yeah. choreo because it was based on the music video. Yeah, but this yeah. was something that came out of my head Yeah. and everything I made happen. Like, so yeah. even from the props to like, even the choreography, how I wanted it. Yeah. And I said, I want it exactly like that. This kind of moves that one. And then they made it happen. You know, it's yeah. like everything came from me and this was like a whole other level to push mm. my creativity and of the things I can do. Yeah. And then I think I'm not gonna lie that that moment made me feel absolutely empowered of like I can do anything. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> bet that was a good. That was that was probably a, like. What would you rate that experience? That was an amazing experience. Like, it was on a scale of one to ten, like ten being like. Oh, it was definitely. I would say like a nine and a half for because okay. like just I would say just because of the half because I was I was on in one hour. Uh, 
a sleep a day yeah. like to to tell you this how much you're gonna guess is that i lost my appetite is yeah. that nash was constantly nash was my director for yeah. the shoot and he was like oh my god lucy you need to eat yeah. like eat and you know me i love food yeah and i was just kind of like yeah, yeah i'll eat later later and then later <laughs> i meant you know 12 hours later yeah, and then yeah, but yeah. all i wanted was coffee and i was yeah. constantly where's my oh, so you was like, high on coffee oh my god the coffee you high was, your, was your, insane yeah your calm down the must vanilla. have been the worst <laughs> The ice vanilla lattes work. <laughs> that and plus going. the calm down. You must have been like, I'm going, I'm out. You must oh, have you slept don't for. Listen, I... Yeah, you disappeared after yeah. that for a while. I disappeared because I needed, and <laughs> also need... I looked like a zombie. You didn't even sleep. You didn't <laughs> I didn't look like a sleep. zombie. I, I had to have a facial done yeah. after because I just lost all completion in my face. That's how bad it was. <laughs> Damn, that was so. Yeah. So that yeah, that sounded like a crazy experience. No, it was insane, insane okay. to, to beginning to end, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to take, not we're going to take a break, but we're going to go into a little game. So I like to have games as, as a little interval just to like reset the mind like and game, just, huh? you know, <laughs> yeah, we love games over here. Um, so this first game, there's three going to be, there's, there's two more games after this, okay, cool. but they, they'll be come later on towards, on the podcast. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you five seconds to name three things that start with the letter and then whatever the letter okay. is. Yeah, so it's going to be three different letters. <laughs> you have five seconds. Mm. Yeah. I would have said five five seconds and name five things. That's like one second. To, okay. But that was a bit... Uh, but I'll okay. give you five seconds. Just name three things. That start with a certain letter. Yes. Okay. So we're going to start with... Are you ready? I'm going to count the five there because there's I'm a clock behind you. Yeah. So we're going to... Uh, five seconds to name three things that start with the letter W. W. Two, oh, my God. Three. Wagyu. Uh, window Five. and wait oh, oh my god he's a bit late he's <laughs> like, a bit late oh my god sorry <laughs> <laughs> sorry what was the last one you said wage wage <laughs> isn't wage you like, know, like your a wage with a w like your monthly wage okay that's a w right yeah I'm yeah, not yeah, crazy. yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I mean i didn't specify if it was if it had to be an object or anything but okay fair enough yeah <laughs> like, i think no that's fine that's fine i mean i'll give you that we'll give her that right we'll give her that one okay next one um name three things that start with the letter c See, come. <laughs> Cinnamon and c- c- citrus. <laughs> what was the second one? Sorry, a cinnamon and citrus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why. This is the first thing that came. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my days. We can clearly see what you had to say. <laughs> You know what? That's funny because you said that like this. <laughs> if you're watching the video, yeah, she t- you, you can see you can see yourself. She went, no, <laughs> come. What? I was just more prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days! I, Damn, I was, that was funny. I, I was just more on it this time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh fuck! Fuck. Right. right okay, okay. Last one. Last okay, letter. Cool. I'm ready. Name three things that start with the letter D dick <laughs> dinosaur <laughs> and dining <laughs> i'm sorry come on <laughs> oh my god Woo. oh that was funny i was like oh, yeah wow. i'm sorry sorry lucy's dirty mind has showed has went to uh, the building. <laughs> yeah listen lucy has a dirty mind I will leave that there. Uh, okay. we'll, I'm gonna let people. <laughs> we'll let you figure it out yeah. after the podcast. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. We're gonna take a a, a, a five second break. Uh, <laughs> okay, so after that game, it's gonna say the P is back. Yeah, the P <laughs> is back. The P standing for what, Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna say penis. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyways. <laughs> anyways okay. we're gonna move on we're gonna move on <laughs> okay so about a year ago um you went viral on yes. youtube yes i did um and you gained a whole lot of wow i'm gonna sit <laughs> my drink that sounded like oh. a like a pervy old man of like 70 year old that sounded french <laughs> that sounded so french <laughs> <laughs> so uh you gained a lot of subscribers on youtube um over the first lockdown out of nowhere um that that was to do with your magic mic workshops yes talk to us about your magic mic workshops and how that started 
So how did I start? Um, so the Magic My Style <coughs> workshops are... Uh, bless you. Bless you. What? Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> For a coffin? <laughs> like, my bad. So my Magic My Style workshop, they are... Did you just cheer to the screen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, it's, what do you mean? Okay. No, I, I thought you did this. No, <laughs> I was like, I yeah, this. cheers to you, bro. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with you? <laughs> Focus. <laughs> focus, 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 my bad, my bad. Mm -hmm. The so, beer's getting to you already. Ma magic <laughs> the Magic Mike workshop. Yes, explain yes. to us how they came about yes. and what they are. So they are uh, a two-hour workshop that I do where uh -huh. basically it's a reverse choreography. Okay. Where the, I mean, technically it's a reverse choreography, but anybody can do it. It's it could free. Be, it's it's free, like yeah. gender fluid completely. Uh -huh. It's like man or woman can do this. And... Basically, it's a two-hour workshop where I teach a choreography that you dance on a partner. The only uh -huh. slight difference is that the partner doesn't have to do anything. He sits okay, on the chair. Okay, they get and to enjoy. Exactly. Mm. And the, the choreography is to for you to interact with this person, but they're not dancing with you, which yeah. I feel is quite different than most partner workshop where there's a guy choreo and then there's a girl yeah. choreo. Or there's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. person B choreo and person A choreo, which is like yeah. now it's like because the person's sitting on the chair, you have to make sure that you're keeping them engaged. You keep that interaction, yeah. that energy, etc. Then obviously there's always the camera because I've always been a videographer to yeah, yeah, film yeah. the workshop. So to put it short, it's kind of a reverse magic mic dance yeah with still like i i love keeping an element of hip-hop because yeah i think sometimes we always tell people like you know you to be sexy you can only be in heels and yeah. or that kind of idea to be sexy i need to be in heels which don't uh -huh, get me wrong uh -huh. I, I mean it's kind of sexy you got like uh females dancing a bit manly like you know oh, I mean? trying to be like, like a guy like, that oh okay. like it's just it's like it's that big big d energy yeah it's yeah like, you know, yeah yeah you can swear on this you no, can say like, big dick <laughs> big like, dick you know it's like you know it's a big dick energy exactly yeah. which is uh i think that's something i wanted to really be able to show women because i feel that's for me it's like people always try to put me in the box it's either yeah. like she's hip-hop or she's heels or she's sexy yeah. or she's that and i think i just always want to showcase to women that they can be everything yeah and they can always be sexy and confident and of course poised throughout everything yeah and it's a good i think the good idea for this is that you can a lot of people a lot of dancers don't or a lot of people do who dance have a significant other who is yeah. not a dancer that don't know how to dance and i think it also brings an element for people to bring their significant other however a lot of people that come are well not necessarily not necessarily single but they Horny. don't come is that what it is that's what no, they're i was gonna say they come alone because <laughs> like no okay this is a misconception because they want to practice dancing <laughs> on the guy maybe you know, know what I, I gotta <laughs> say when was the last time you were ever offered the opportunity to practice dancing on a woman or for women never you know what i mean it's like it's something that's where that's the bedroom <laughs> that's not dancing <laughs> that's a whole other dance you don't know what i do I in the bedroom okay wow so guys if you want a dance show go have sex with paul yes, he'll show you 100 <laughs> there's like lighting involved and yes listen i can i can change the lights right now you would know it goes from like you know a raincoat to a lip of gc listen <laughs> listen we will put blue lights on Woo! right now okay yeah if you're watching the video that. you see blue red lights, light red light red light there you go give me give me some of that no. sun go ahead oh purple no, i like that go, we're gonna go back <laughs> oh, <laughs> just so that we can see i, I was hoping i was gonna see the show no well, no, 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 no 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 that's later <laughs> later later, later. We'll oh later. wow you guys you said later on <laughs> <laughs> stay for the <laughs> after special <laughs> yeah <laughs> the after the after spill the tea special after spill the tea said like over 21 after <laughs> hours <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so anyway. Anyways, carrying on. So, going back to the topic, your magic mic yes. workshops. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So that's where they are. They are, and uh, they kind of started off of. I was trying to find with the company I was teaching for at the time. Mm -hmm. I had to find a, an idea to teach for Valentine's Day. And yes. then one of my friends, which is B again. Uh, was shout, like, out to B. shout out to B. B, B is like my you. rock in absolutely everything. I miss like, B. Then. Absolutely. And she was kind of like, oh my God, you should totally do like, you know. Uh, like a sexy routine and then she was like why don't you do a chair routine and she was like oh my god you should get like guys and we could dance on them and stuff and <laughs> little did she know I actually took it literally yeah. and I was like hey you know what and then I think I texted you right after yeah. and they're like hey can you come to like something and yeah. I can like dance on you and like feed you and run over like what what are we doing yeah. what's happening I don't think I was at that first one though no at the first one you were at the I was at the second, second one after one. yes and I was like, and I just remember because it was really funny because uh, I did my first choreo with Ronald. Yeah. And like, it was really funny because at the time, like, just me, like, sitting on him and we're both giggling like five-year-old and like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like you're like incapable, like, or like, I'd be there like, you know, like rotating my hips and I'd be like, how does that feel? I'd be like, 
yeah, it feels alright. That feels good. Like it's like, <laughs> like you know, just like. <laughs> just like I could imagine Ronald's face. Like, 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 like Ronald was just like, yeah, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. You mm. yeah, you could keep doing that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Like, yeah. by the way, if you guys meet at Ronald, he's like the most respectful, like, uh, chill person he's the ever. Funniest so guy. He's like funniest guy ever. But it's. Yeah, so it kind of started off like that. And then I think somebody was like, oh my God, you got to bring it back. So then I made a second routine and then I brought the workshop back and then people kept raving about it. And so I did a few more throughout the year. And obviously, but it's like... What was your favorite wasn't. one? My favorite one. Because uh, you you've done... The first one was the original um, yeah, pony. Yeah, the pony one. What was the second one? The um, second one was Fillet. The one with the flip on the chair. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I and remember that. And then, well, the third one was All the Time. Yeah. And, and then, then the fourth one was, was Sierra. Uh, Sierra. Yes, exactly. Out of the four, what was, what's been your favorite? I have to admit, All the Time was super fun. That was, I feel like, that like was, was that the one that went viral? Yeah, that's the one. Well, uh, Sierra also went viral, but like All the Time went extra viral. Right? Like 10 million views viral. Yeah. Like insane. And I think it was something like it's just I didn't because if you remember I kind of just made it into I decided it was going to be a monthly thing. Yeah, last yeah, yeah. Year, I remember, exactly yeah. January, which was last you week. You were going to do monthly you know? uh, magic mic workshops. Exactly, yeah. like two hours workshop with lighting and camera yeah. and make people really feel in the mood and yeah, da, 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 yeah, da, da, yeah. Like I had all this set plan out. So technically, and then I just didn't expect it to like sell out. Like yeah, because I remember we we filmed that, we uploaded it, and then. You just put it out there and then during lockdown, I just remember going onto your like, YouTube to watch the video again. I was like, mm. wait, why are there so many views? <laughs> like it was, it was like, I just remember my YouTube just kind of, because let's remind ourselves that I only had 200 followers. Yeah. Like subscribers by the time I posted that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and remember. Then, I know, that's what I remember when I watched and I clicked on the video. I was like, what? This is like on 10K. <laughs> like. Huh? And then your subscriber count went up too. I was like, damn. Mm. Like, mm. do you even know about this? And it's like, yeah, it's been happening over like the last few weeks. I, have you gotten any DMs or anyone that's spoken no. to you? I wish. <laughs> like, I wish. Because like, our handle was on the video. So I, I know, that, but like... no one no, I know one came into my DM. Oh, guys, come and Paul's DM, please. I was that's like, sad. I'm looking for a wife. <laughs> that can do Magic Mike style workshops, so come to my workshops. Vice too. versa. <laughs> I do that vice versa, you can meet like Listen. this. So yeah, it, it really went like, it went absolutely insane. Like it was like, it went like, so now my fault, I'm almost at 100K actually uh, subscribers. Damn. So I'm at 97.4 exactly. Ooh. So if you don't follow me on YouTube, go follow me on YouTube so I can get that. Yeah. What do you get, what do you get on YouTube when you get like 100K subscribers? Oh, you get don't that you plaque get, like, in a it. Plaque in it, right? Yeah. So I'm, Wait, like, what are you on 100? Uh, so I'm on 97.4. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you get like a, um, a YouTube plaque. That would be dope because I've never seen one in real life. Subscribe to Lucy on the, YouTube for more content. And then I can and use the YouTube too. studio as well. I'm fi- I think I can use the YouTube studio. Can I Yeah, not? yeah, you can, yeah, you can, you no, can. Like, you cool got to just let them know or book it. Like, in that, that'd be really cool. And so like all of this thing and it, it just unlocked everything because there were people taking my online class from like Thailand and mm-hmm. Mexico and Brazil and yeah. Poland and like it's kind of insane. World. Like, yeah, the whole world. People and even made like, reaction videos. Oh my God, the amount of Those things were like, funny. Insane. Those guys? Those guys, those guys make you laugh too. And I think I was just like, whoever's watching this is that like a lot of the time because, you know, they, they watch all these other YouTubers video, which is mostly yeah. a time performance, whereas I really focus on teaching everybody that has yeah. a different level. So sometimes, because I posted these video not to be like, oh my God, like we're just going to showcase everybody. Yeah, everyone's a well. professional mm. in the room. No, it's exactly. not even like that. It was no. just, it's more for fun than just to gain confidence yeah. for the females. And it's like, I mean, if you know me, I'm always about to, I want to make sure you take care of the dance as well. Yeah, like, of I can't course, of deal course. with people that don't treat dance like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, but. Like, the choreography isn't like too, too difficult. But like, yeah. It is one. Like, yeah, especially the all the time one. I wanted the all the time one to be really oh, yeah. all of, like, I did want the Sierra one to be a little bit more, I'd say medium advanced. But yeah, the all yeah, the time yeah. one was really meant for people to be able to just enjoy themselves mm-hmm, no matter mm-hmm. what. And also, and I, pro- I guess be, that's probably why, because it was so genuine, to, like in terms of how it was created and choreographed. That's probably why it went viral. Yeah. And I, I guess like, and it's something for me because like, it's something really when I see, like, I just want people to be able to to understand that they can grow. Yeah. And it's, like, not always about... Like, this is why also I wanted uh, to make sure that the video not just showcase dance. Yeah. But showcase, like, there's an actual environment. And it's yeah, this, there's and, a vibe. And, you know, I wanted to show that it was also, like... It wasn't just meant for girls. It was also yeah. meant, like, a guys could put, the, yeah. put a twist on it and make it 
Like a I'm surprised m- more guys didn't show up and was just like, yeah, I'm going to dance with some girls. Well, what's so funny is that what I realized, because there, there was a, there's yeah. always two guys that came yeah. and then <coughs> they always did it, no problem. But then I remember there was a third guy that signed up. Yeah. And then when he got there, he just decided to sit on the chair. And I was like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> oh, he signed up. He did yeah, dance. So he signed up to actually dance yeah. at the workshop. And then he... I think he either got uh, maybe a little bit intimidated. Cause, yeah. Yeah. What happened? What I did notice as well is like the level of confidence from the girls. Like. Oh like, yeah. You know, that they become, they become tigers. Like. Yeah. It's I like, know. You know. I remember. The I remember from the first one. I was like, damn. <laughs> it's like, okay, switch. Like, it's switching so fast. Like I've like, seen damn. girls push other girls to make sure they could jump on the guy first, and I'm, I'm like, like whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Like normally when you teach a dance class and you say like, you know, who wants to come up? And Everyone's dance, all shy. Like, yeah, mm, it's like yeah, people who's are like, left. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll, I'll point <laughs> you. You have to like point people out and make them etc. Like this was like not one of those times. This was like, and then I remember because. I went over like imagine this is a two-hour workshop and we went like 35 minutes over yeah because I, I was remember, like Lucy time you know like, she was like oh fuck but it's because Oops. do you remember I tried to I tried to like I tried to like okay guys like we need to cut it short and the people are like no again again and I was I know, like oh I my know. god because like, it was like, it was such a good vibe that's why it's, it's a fun vibe I mean I, I as one of the guys who's sitting there I find it I find it like a vibe as well also not only because I'm enjoying it and having girls dancing all, mm-hmm, all over me mm-hmm. and stuff but like being a choreographer and a, and a teacher too, like I can also help out with the girls and give them tips. Yeah, the girls appreciate that a lot. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say because a lot of them, like a lot of the guys that go, are more returning guys mm. that come mm. um, from just being random. I know, people. I heard her speak of a union, and I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, are you guys going? <laughs> All right, we're going, we're going <laughs> next week, next week Sunday. All right, all right see you there. Yeah, a little became, meet up for the guys. I love yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, what, how, how did you gather the guys and, and like convince people to get into like guys? To I think come? a lot of the time, well, for you guys, it was always like, hey, like, can you help me out with this? Like, yeah. uh, I just need somebody. If you can't come for the two hours, like, you can just come for the last thirty minutes, yeah. so the girls like, can uh, basically practice dancing yeah. on you. I would just kind of go like, this is really a fun that's vibe. That's how you said it. To, to me, guys, you have like, some girls just dancing. Basically, on you. that's kind of how we'd get guys to kind of come across, <laughs> and you know, and if you have a friend that wants to come up, like, please and that would just we would always go for dinner after the workshop yeah, yeah. and it's something where like I just I, and the guy I think I was always so happy with the guys that came because all of them were just always like I didn't see because most of the guys were had dance experience yeah. and even the one that didn't you could tell they were always trying to help the girl be like yeah. oh, you need to come around like yeah. so I think this is something that also helped the girls and it was so funny because like people it was almost like a little you know speed dating yeah but it, it was. was so funny because nobody so, hi, say, okay switch okay hi I'm, I'm Paul like, and this is okay and cool then, but I noticed the girls would never introduce themselves no, they just they go didn't. I'm so sweaty and just like jump I'm so, on yeah, you yeah <laughs> no, I'm, I'm so sweaty but I'm just gonna do this on you like, like okay like, it's they would fine, just jump on the guys and I'd be like put your sweat on me put your sweat on me like hi my name is like welcome yeah i know i I feel like uh, maybe she did it again at the beginning 100 100 percent. i mean it's been so much time passed by i have so many ideas from when we're able to come back like i feel like yeah i was just if when i'm able to bring back this workshop in its full form we're gonna go in absolutely we're gonna go in in every sense of the time that'd be dope that'd be dope (laughs) okay cool when are you plan uh obviously i can't really ask when Mm. are you planning the next one because you know no nothing really knows but you did put out a new one recently yes i did with uh you (laughs) yes i know i was in the video guys (laughs) i was like at him (laughs) yeah it was uh wet the bed how was that one how do you how do you feel about doing that because that was the this this was the the last time you did one was the sierra one yeah which was last 11 months ago (laughs) yeah like february march or something like that exactly no it was february yeah yeah february February. fair yeah it was exactly the uh it was after the the, yeah it was like the 20th of november something like that exactly yeah 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 so So how does it feel like making how did it feel for you making a new one so it felt I think it was like it was nice to finally be in that space and to go for it because I think I put it off for so long because that was it's just like you know the the this workshop is my baby and it feels mm. like if I you know it was almost like if I can't have the real thing what's yeah. the point it kind of okay. felt like that for a little bit you know it kind of felt like yeah well, if I can't have oh yeah because you was teaching thing, them online right mm. I remember I, I can imagine well yeah. chair routines because obviously most of the yeah. guys like didn't have any, no one had a partner at home many yeah. of them didn't so it was kind of very limiting so I yeah. continued with chair workshops uh, not chair workshop but chair classes chair yeah. dance classes and I think I just always like well I don't 
I don't want to. It wasn't about that. It felt like I didn't want to taint it because it was like, mm. I think it was almost like I didn't want to let go of what you know when something like you have your perfect thing. Yeah. And then because obviously situation change, you like, yeah. and then you're gonna have to adapt that perfect thing to yeah, yeah, yeah. the situation. But like, but it's perfect like that. But it's yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. like that. And I, I think that's how I felt for so long. And then when I realized that it, the Magic Mind Style Workshop were hitting the year mark, and I was like, okay, I think it's time to come out of the closet and. You know, do something, and I, yeah. it felt really good. So my body was an absolute ache, <laughs> yeah, though. Oh said. my god! Like the bruises on my knee. And I was like, "How is this possible?" Because it's not like I wasn't <laughs> active throughout. I was you know? fine. I was. Good. <laughs> you were fine. <laughs> I had no bruises. People ask you in the comments. Why do people your... ask you if you had bruises? I don't because of it. like you leaning on oh, my knees and then you and, like, switching, switching and rolling over. I was just like, "Yeah, oh, I was fine. I got big legs." Because so, I was like, like, "I was like, what do you mean? Why do you mean bruises?" I was yeah, like, "What?" Because you're like I'm kneeing on me. I was like, "So you know." I think it's always a it was definitely the push I needed to do something again and like I actually love it because the comments on YouTube now are like oh my god I've been waiting for your next choreo for like the past few months like so it's great mm. that this is still there and that people and I think you know people gave me so much love for yeah. these videos and I think it's only fair that I, I show them the appreciation that I have for uh -huh. what this has done mm -hmm. okay that's cool Ooh, well, I mean, I'm excited to see what happens <laughs> next with the Magic Mike workshops when I am that can too. come out the closet properly. <laughs> so please, Corona, go away. <laughs> <laughs> so I can show my uh, lap dance skills. <laughs> yeah, speaking of lap dance, how is, how is your dating life? My dating life? Uh, are you single? I am single, yes. Okay, why are you still, how, why are you still, why are you still single? single? How? I mean, okay. What's it's, going on? This is like, oh God. Because like, I mean, first of all, we're in a pandemic. It's not easy to meet somebody. But it's also because I, I am You're not picky. a... You're picky. No? I don't know. I'm just throwing <laughs> I, things I, out there. I'm, I'm definitely... Asking. Okay, fine. I am a little bit picky. Yes. <laughs> there we go. I'm definitely picky. But I'm not picky in the sense, like, I'm not someone that's like, oh, he's got to have, like, you know, this exact haircut. Not that kind wow, of picky. Okay. I'm more picky in the sense of the energy and how that person communicates with me like uh -huh, i feel uh -huh, uh -huh. um it's more it's more about that for me and it's like this is why i can't do online dating like this uh -huh. is just something where have you tried the online dating thing so my flat paint made me multiple times a, an account <laughs> and then he was like just give it a go there was even a point where he was like messaging people for me like yeah. i had an assistant oh you did one of those things yeah. yeah yeah and so he was messaging people for me like pretending <clears> to be me and stuff and it's just where he was like, okay listen to school like keep the conversation going and it just didn't work for me so i've yeah. actually never been on a date through like any they, they, they have this app. whole new thing of since the since the like the lockdown okay. it's like you do virtual dating i had no idea oh wow and you do like a video thing like facetime but is like, it have you tried that no so i I'm was thinking, hearing about it i was like what see that's what i'm thinking, I'm thinking i didn't know uh, there was a thing because i haven't been on there in a while i mean wow. i jumped on like a last last week but I've, i mean I've that sounds a little bit because for me it's like the reason i have such a hard time online dating is because i work with connection i work with yes. how you see the person physically how they talk mm -hmm. their voice all that sort of stuff that you just don't yeah, get yeah, like yeah, i'm just one of those people like I don't think I would get the profile, on yeah. the show Catfish because like it's just yeah. I, you you can fall in love with the idea of something which yeah. I've been victim of in the past not because of online but in general even though even when you meet somebody yeah. that I've, that definitely happened but in general I need to have somebody physically that I know it's there because otherwise yeah. my way of fall in love with something in your head yes it's, it's that and so I think this is why and I think it's also because um three years ago i was in a very serious relationship three years yes. ago no four years ago four no. it's well, been four no actually because no if, if you think about it technically it ended like end of 2018 so it was end of 2018 uh, 2017 yeah but it was end of sorry sorry my bad so it was end of 2017 17. so technically beginning of 2018 so technically so eight years. i would count i would <clears throat> count 18 as one whole year yeah. but let's just say it was three years in one month <laughs> to yeah. put it that way because we're now in 2021 so i'd say like it, it would so it's be definitely years. been three years yeah yeah so it's been three years and and, Damn, that's a long time. and i think it's just like since then because i think maybe more, a lot of people can relate to that but i i used to be the kind of person even since i was a teenager like i i mean obviously it seems kind of weird to say you know at 15 i was in a serious relationship obviously not Ooh. in the way we mean now but you know you date the same person for a long time yes. maybe a year and then uh, you would break up with them and then be single for a couple of months and then meet somebody else and uh -huh. then it would be another nine months and etc. So I feel like I kind of went down that path ever since yeah. I was a teenager, even up until I was uh, with my ex for six years. Ooh, and, so you know, okay. six years is a very long time, especially from the age of being like 17 to like 23, 20, 22, mm -hmm. 23. It's something that's just like, it's just long. And, and I think it's just... I felt like I just realized I had never had that time to myself. And I don't mean 
you know, because obviously when you're hurt, when you break up with somebody, your first instinct is that you want, yeah. you, you don't want to deal with it. You want to like meet somebody else right away and yeah. kind of oh, just, rebound thing. you know, that rebound. And it's like, and, it, and it's genuine, you know, I think you just need to be aware that you might hurt somewhere else. Yeah. That is something I think you just always need to be, you just need to be, um, how do you say this? Uh, what's the word? What's the word? Frank? Know. No, it's not. You have to be, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. What is it? That's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> What what is the um transparent? There you go. Okay. Oh my god, wow, you did not help me there. I you didn't know what you were going. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna think. twenty minutes later. <laughs> I was like, what is the word? So yeah, I think you need to be transparent about those things. But so for the longest time I think it's not don't get me wrong, I haven't been a nun for the past three years. I've been on dates, I've had sex, like he, but, <laughs> he. <laughs> it's like Lucy's had sex, of course she Yeah, like, That's good to know. Active. What, what did you think was I was the, like what? When was the last time you had sex then? When was the last time I had sex? Was it before the lockdowns? Or was it during lockdown? No, did you no, have no, lockdown sex? Yeah, I did definitely had lockdown sex. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Just, uh okay. So how long ago was lockdown sex? <laughs> Um, it was, it was last week. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. It was definitely, it was definitely like, uh, like two months ago. Okay. For sure. That's not too bad. No. That's, that's, the, that's, that's pretty good. Yes. More than most people. More than me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Shit. Um, well, less than two months. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> I guess to not give any specific dates. <laughs> it's like. Uh, okay, damn. Um, what was I gonna ask? <laughs> did I did I spur some emotion and? No, 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 things? no. Okay, no. <laughs> My, no, because I was gonna ask because we were on the topic of relationships and, yes. and being single and stuff. Have you ever dated a dancer? No, I, uh, that's not true. Actually, uh, when I was seventeen, I did date a dancer for uh-huh. nine months. Uh, that he was a b boy. At the Boy. time, so yes. Okay, but I've actually no, not not like, since. Why would you would you still would you date dancer again or is that I just think off if the cards? We were on the same. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm no longer like I think when I was like you know a bit younger, I was kind of like Neh, like no, yeah. like uh, like I don't know why I just didn't connect yeah. in that sense, or just you know all the guys had like a reputation to <laughs> be you know fuck boys all over the place. Yes, I think that now if you know like any other person, if we connect, we connect, and I'm happy uh-huh. to explore that. If it's interesting sense, yes because i remember a few a few like i think last year you said you wouldn't date it no so now I yeah but now you're like oh i mean if, if the connection's there it's there if yeah not, i think it's i think in more in the sense like someone's growing you know obviously don't get me wrong like because i think that's happened to me uh before when you know some people have you get a reputation i think in just in general dancers yes. we don't have an, not just the dance guys, world I think is just, a small world you everybody like, talks dancer have a reputation in general i think yeah. even even outside of our world i think it's just as a performer you get that reputation of oh you're very social and you're hot you're dancing hot yeah. and heavy with this because even i was talking about my flatmate he was like in general you know so i think mm. there's just if you meet somebody who does because you can have does a mating connection with somebody that yeah. does the same job as you or something that's something you can't get anywhere else which don't get me wrong i've had connections yeah. with people that were in the same job as me but it never went to a point of you know let's what i mean do like, something let, about it. let's do something about it okay. and like, let's be serious <clears throat> and like, like something like that and i think but if, if those situations became serious would or they became something would you have let it happen yeah, definitely. 100%. 100%. Damn, everyone's like, wondering now, like, <laughs> was that me? Did I have a shot? Damn, now they're like, oh, damn. Why do you think many people want to have a shot with them, uh, Lucy Camelo? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Listen, come on now. Come on now. Okay, let's go on to, like, what, what's your type of guy? Ooh, what is my type of guy? So, yeah, what's your type? Right. Um, on paper. On paper. So, I, I'm definitely, like, I'm not within looks. And I think it's because... Uh, I've dated very different types of people, et cetera. Obviously, if you know, if you ask a very shallow answer, it's like, you know, somebody that takes care of themselves, uh-huh. you know, in good shape and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, t- a little bit taller than me, whatever. But that's, I've realized those things aren't ne- that necessarily important to me. I, uh... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I didn't even say anything. You're just laughing. I was laughing. just going to say, so, obviously, <clears throat> like, so, the, the real truth and genuine response is, I need... My genuine type of guy is somebody I've realized, and that's something I realized recently, actually, Ooh. is that I I always thought for me it was the physical touch, like somebody that's like super affectionate and somebody uh-huh. that's like, you know, that, that holds your hand and that hugs you in the morning and that's yeah. very, you know, that's just not afraid. Because I've met some guys where like, who the fuck comes out of the blue and goes, I don't like to hold hands. And I'm like, 
what? Who do, like who does that? Like, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm kind of like, and I it just, I don't know. That person, that person needed love in their life. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm just like, for me, I'm kind of like, who? What? I love physical touch, and yeah. I always found that when I felt a little bit off with someone. Yeah. So if I felt like, huh, I don't feel like they're as affectionate with me and stuff. Yeah. And then I later, I not, I recently realized it wasn't that. It was. In general, it's not even as much as I love the physical touch. I realize it's the emotional support. And when uh-huh, I say emotional uh-huh, support, uh-huh. and it's something, I don't even mean like deep down in the relationship. I don't mean that. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just something little thing. When, when you talk about what happened today at work, you ask questions. Yes. You don't need to be super talkative. You can be a quiet person, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But when you listen to somebody talk and you're at least paying attention to what they're saying you know you yeah. you ask your response so like oh so how did that go yeah, oh okay yeah. oh you did that today let me see you know you choreographed a music video oh wow let me let me check what's got that's pretty cool did you think about doing that you know what i mean it's these you're generally things interested in, 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 in what that person has to say exactly or like you know if you're <clears throat> or if you're kind of like i did notice as people i'm a, i'm really interested in people that can communicate and when uh, i say communication this, i've been saying that communication yes communication is me. key like Paul, there's nothing worse than, you know, because I think I've grown definitely throughout the three years I, mm. I've grown. Mm-hmm. Like, and I think definitely when I was with my ex, you know, we were both young and we've definitely had our petty moments where like, you know, you're just mad and you're just like, you don't want to talk to the other person and you're just waiting for them. It's kind of like you're trying to win. But yeah. I've just realized something, if you're trying to keep trying to win in a dating scenario or somebody yeah. you're supposed to like be together and empower each other, yeah, you're going to yeah, lose yeah. the whole thing. Uh-huh. And I think it's something I realized. So even if it's something what I've realized where it's like communicating. So even me of kind of like going, hey, uh, this like what's going on here? What's going on there? And then there's nothing worse with when you have a guy in front of you that just stays silent and is incapable of like saying one word or to just yeah. say like, I'll say, OK, this is how I feel. And this makes me feel a bit uneasy or just don't understand why you did that. And you'll just get somebody that just goes. Hi. <laughs> you know what it is and then then you'll go and then i would go hey like yeah. did you listen to what i said and you'd be surprised that's happened to me more often than not and that for me i'm kind of like there's nothing more unattractive yeah. and hurtful when you see somebody where you're like what the fuck like i've just mm-hmm, like you know mm-hmm, i've just kind of mm-hmm. because it's not an easy thing for me also to like speak those emotions because I'm also a little bit of a coward too and i think it's a very coward thing to do to just yeah. kind of like say nothing and just disappear and say but uh-huh. you know None of it has none of us kind of gone. Okay, you know what? Should I just leave it and say nothing, and hopefully that that just yeah, the whole situation will be go swept away. under the carpet, and you then know? we just carry on. Yeah, exactly. Then the last thing I say for me is very important: is sexual connection. Uh, what that? does that mean to you? <laughs> okay, explain. So, Wait, before you explain, <laughs> let me like, change these okay. batteries and then camera stuff. Uh, what was my last question? Uh, so I was saying that was important for me was sexual connection. Yes, and we was about to speak on sexual yes. connection. What does that mean? So that means, in general, so obviously, I mean, okay. Wow, well, we're going in, aren't we? Yes. Okay, so, so we're getting me, down to the juicy stuff, which is what <laughs> everyone wants to know. Juicy Lucy. <laughs> you should put that in as your, as your IG new... bio. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> juicy Lucy. It's like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> that could go so many different ways. I am not going to lie. Okay, carry on. Sexual connection. So, mm-hmm. so I think for me, it's also like... I need in general somebody that I do like raw energy. It needs to be, you know, I can't. <laughs> you said raw. Raw. Like, no. I mean, energy. yes. Actually, yes. Yes. In a way, a little bit. I got to admit. Like, this. We <laughs> seems like you're raw, like a dinosaur. I mean, come on. <laughs> like a dinosaur. <laughs> raw. more like a black panther. But wow. Okay. <laughs> like I'll, lion, I'll ask that question in a second. Go ahead. Carry tiger, on. White carry tiger on. or something. Like, <laughs> so, um, Wait. So then what, what, what sexual, well, what animal would you say you are in the bedroom? I am definitely a panther. Yeah, black panther black for sure. Panther. Yeah, I am a feline for sure. Ooh, I'm damn. a predator. <laughs> mm, predator. Predator. <laughs> I'm definitely a predator. Okay. Like carry I, on. I, I like to initiate sex in general. Like yes. For sure, for sure. Yes. But I need somebody that's like me, if that makes sense. Like I can't just be always the one initiate. Any yeah. I need somebody who has the same sexual appetite that as I have. Oh, okay. And you'd be surprised. So you're sexually active? What do you mean? <laughs> As in, like, oh, that's not that wasn't the right term. Yeah, it was like, it was um, like not active in that sense. Uh, um, you mean you love sex, basically? Yeah, hell yeah, okay. hell yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Like, okay. and it, and I think you need somebody that loves it as much. And when I say that, 
I mean somebody that you know likes to pleasure the other person as much as they like to have fun. Woo, it's about, pleasure, what sense? You know, oral, you know, like oral yeah. sex, absolutely. Because I know, don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah, if we go into the whole route of like, you know, oh, but when you have sex with people you don't know. However, to be honest with you, I've never, I've, I've had, a, I've had one one night stand in my life. One, like, yeah. Like yeah. otherwise, it's been you know people I've been on date with like two. two what about weeks. fuck buddies? Have you had a fuck buddy? Absolutely, I've had fuck buddies, Ooh. but you but still have a fuck buddy now. No, oh. <laughs> I know. Ooh. Yes, lockdown was not kind to me. <laughs> yeah, that means that means that door is open, guys. It's yeah, open. Well, like fill up your application. We'll decide that later. Yes. That's <laughs> Which is like, don't get me wrong, and this is what I mean. Like, sexual connection doesn't always mean you need to be in a relationship. Together. No, you just want the, you just want the physical act. Exactly, but put your penis inside of me. That's what that's what you want, right? Yes, but you need. But this is what I mean. It's like so a lot of the time. But wait, okay, I was wait, gonna wait, say, okay, yeah, okay, carry go on. Go. I was wait. gonna say, but in in terms of that though, do you do you like the whole? Build up as well and the yeah, kissing. Yeah, that's exactly and the, that's what I meant. Like because some, sometimes people are like, no, nah, I just want the sex. No, that's not me. I no? I want and it, it. I find that so attractive when a guy goes down on me. Yes, from the get. I love that. Shit. That weight mm. thing is like, oh yeah, Paul is a bit of a ah, is a celebrity when it comes to Cunilingus, guys. Yes, I've heard very good reviews. So if you are down for that, I'm gonna let her be my. To be fair, and, I like, and I'll say this for the viewers. It's like I remember a couple of years ago, I told Paul like I don't think I like when a guy goes down on me. Damn. And and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, you just haven't been with the right person. Yes. And then I was like, no, nah, I think I just prefer fingering. Like, I'm just Ew, not that kind of person. You need all like, of that shit. Don't fingering. Your fingering is nice too. No, it's just but not. like, that kid just <laughs> be like, uh, Like, you know, you got to play with like. You got to need all of it. You if, you can, if you know how to like literally play with your tongue and play with the clit at the same time with hand, you can do many, many things. Yeah, of course. Like, many things. Of course. But it's not until I started uh, seeing someone that literally like, you, made, made me come with just going down on me was insane is that why you're called Lucy Juicy <laughs> <laughs> well I definitely juiced with him I can tell you that you <laughs> so, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nah, he was hands down like amazing and definitely he, hands down and this is uh, hands down absolutely <laughs> hands like down. hands down butts down whatever you yeah, want ass up face down <laughs> hands down were down the hands were down there hands were down everything was down okay <laughs> everything was down she said it yeah. was on the table and I think this is when I realized um like sex can be so different because it yeah. was like it was just it was just like a person like we were both so into each other and we were yeah. both but it was still with love and care but it could yeah. still be rough but still tender Ooh. at the same do you know what you I like mean a it's rough like sex. oh hell yeah Ooh. like uh, it's like rough in what sense because people have different levels I think of rough. For, okay I'm not I'm not about like, like the you hair know, grabbing mm, and yeah, uh, the choking the hair grabbing the choking oh, the, the spitting in the mouth no you know? that's not me though no, no, no we went okay. too far <laughs> that's right. I have to check you know because some I people you know they like that some people like that I love the spit in my mouth you're like like, playing ooh, with the nipples damn. that sort of stuff mm. like this is like you know biting I love a lot of biting oh, for biting. sure oh I had the scratch in the back like the scratch, it's like you know yeah. that little scratch everything like I just love that kind of really tension passion kind of thing and I think but in general it needs to be a give and take because in yeah. general like um because I think when I was younger, obviously, and I think when guys are a bit younger, or at least they're told, you know, they're told mm. like it's just like yeah, tell the girl to like push you to do a blowjob and that's it. Yeah, Whereas yeah, it's yeah. Nothing I more grew attractive up on that. When you know, yeah, exactly. Like you know, and so when I meet some people that are like just very open and about just like it's, it's like two people think yeah and it doesn't because sometimes you know when people go too much oh it needs to be my boyfriend for me to just do this and i'm kind of oh, like yeah, yeah. if i, I can't be myself some girls are like no i can't go i can't suck no dick like on this, that person's my boyfriend yeah, that's like, like, and it's like, fair, like listen fair to suck I'm dick just, yo it's like you know suck it's, good dick. For, it's good for the job so you get so, <laughs> so you know because some girls are trash at it. listen some girls are like yeah i'm the best i mean i've been told that like, I, I've been, i'm very good really <laughs> i mean come on <laughs> really I mean oh, I've been no. told that very good but then you know what I wonder something because I've been told many times I'd actually I've been doing hands on when um, I went on a couple of so three dates with this guy and it was funny yeah. because he said oh my god you're the best sex I ever had without the feelings what does that mean well it means we were obviously not in love this was like the third without the feelings as in like, the as feelings in we're, of we're what? not in love okay 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 no no okay. As, in, like, as in like as in not being in love sex he was like this is the best sex I've said uh, okay I've had. and I was kind of like oh so you know you know I'm sure to be fair I feel like every girl has been told by the guys they had sex with dated yeah. that oh my god you're the best because there's just something you s I mean I don't know yeah I mean, obviously, I would never. If sex wasn't that great, I would never go. Oh my god, this is just okay. Like I would never. Okay. Say, I'm not like that. But in general, I've always been told, "Oh my god, you're amazing." So like sometimes I wonder, is this very true? Or is I feel like <laughs> I feel okay. I was, so I was gonna get onto that too. Mm -hmm. So like I feel with 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 guys. I mean, I'm speaking for guys. Not I don't know about girls. I can't really speak for the ladies. Well, I can speak for the ladies. So um, 
they when speak it, when, for each other. <laughs> <laughs> so when when speak he says me. like when he said um, this is the best sex I've ever had without the feelings, I feel like that's because he's when when people hook up. Or do you just want to have fuck? Or do you want to have fuck? Well, they want to have fuck. They yeah, they do. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, they do want to have fuck. <laughs> That's the alcohol. Uh, when they want to have sex, do you give your best performance or oh. do you not? Because I know some guys that are like, no, nah, I just want to bust a nut and get that over with and have this physical sex. Right. And then that's why uh, when girls come back, they're like, oh, he was he he his sex was shit. Or oh, vice versa. Sometimes they're like, oh, that girl's sex was shit. But they're not giving that person their... The, the, their top performance right so it's funny. even though there's no feelings involved that they yeah, don't want yeah, yeah, yeah. they just want the physical just like they just want to be able to so do you give your do you always give your your 10 10 performance or do you sometimes like eh, maybe i'm gonna give them like a five performance overall or six like you speaking as you mm. like not their performance but you to them you mean to them right i i don't think i have like so me it's like a zero or a hundred yeah I don't okay. think I have a, a level. I think it's just because okay, I enjoy okay, okay. myself during sex. Right. And I think like I generally do. Like it's like it's not um like a, put it this way for me, sex is fun. Yes. Sex is real fun. Uh-huh. And it, it's if you know not, how to play. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like for me it's fun. It's supposed to make you feel good. So if you already go in with like Ooh, like I can't really do this because maybe he might think that, or I'm not really in the mood. If I'm not in the mood, then let's just not have sex. Like you know what I mean? It's right. like, like I'm just kind of because I, I just I gave my all, but it's not conscious of oh my god, I've really got to make this guy think I'm amazing. Yeah. It's just I just do what I like. Mm-hmm. I just do what I like. If I want to do something, like if I want to, you know, slip in lingerie for the guy that I like, mm. I will. You know, it's these things like. I think maybe more that's where I have levels in the okay. sense of like, you know, I'll like put a laundry on if I really like a guy and yeah. stuff like, and I really want to like, you know, but I'm, like, I'm t- I was asking more on like, if, what if you just want to say, yeah, you that's what I mean. No, so those if you didn't really what, like the guy, but like you just wanted the sex yeah, from the guy. But if I just know, because for me, I have fun when so I So you would still give a 10, 10 performance. Exactly. Well, what feels like a 10, 10 performance for me in the sense of like, put it this way, obviously don't get me wrong. If I'm not feeling like giving a blowjob for a really long time or something, I might not, but it doesn't mean uh-huh. that. I'm just gonna like jump on you and just like you know put your dick in yeah, me yeah, and like yeah. fuck me real quick and I'm done because yeah. in general like I like I like that foreplay I like you know yes, I, I love still the go down the neck and I'll I don't still, know how like, people can just fucking no no yeah. no I mean don't get me wrong the, the hot and heavy oh my god I just must have you but I, still, I hear that but like that but it still involves a kiss the and it still involves yeah. touch and it's still like I don't know I just can't imagine just a uh, yeah, you know what? I just need to fuck right now. <sighs> no, I can't. I need. I need. It, I need it needs all. to have that chemistry. That chemistry. Yeah. If that chemistry isn't there, it, it's really hard for me to. Like I dated this other guy where um when I, again when I guys when I say date it's like because I haven't dated seriously in a very long time. Yeah. Uh, it's like I've never made it past the third date because I get bored. Um, but it's something where you get bored what do you in, in like the it's sense just like a not enough for me to kind of go yeah i want to keep dating you and see where this goes etc it's kind of like okay, why cool. do you think that is it on you or is it on him oh uh, i or is mean it both of you i don't think it's on them specifically i think it's just i uh, i'm perfectly content alone and for me to to decide like you know what let me give this a shot is because I think we definitely have a compatibility that I can see, like, something. And I, it's not something where I'm, like, clinically going, okay, is he, like, taking boxes? It's just yeah. more, can I generally see myself with this person? Later? Uh, uh, uh. And, like, and, you mm. know, and I think, like, it's okay to be able to just, like, if you, if I don't just don't feel it, if it's, like, no, no, in the sense of, like, oh, he said something that made me cringe. I just mean, yeah. well, okay, cool, you were fun. Like, this guy was super nice, you know, took me on dates, he paid for every dinner. Mm-hmm. Well, all four dinners <laughs> we went on four dates and like and like you know and he was great and like uh, he he was like making sure he like googled the places where to go and yeah. made sure like but i guess you know it was just one of those things where you meet people you have a little bit of fun and i guess yeah, yeah. and you can just feel it you know when you're not really that into replying that quickly where you're in between and i don't even remember a bit on both sides of the coin but i think this is more something when like if you've been on a two, two three dates it's not that invested anymore. Right. It's more like, you know, if, you, if you've if you dated a person for two, for two months or something, you might not want to just like stop texting and kind of like take them on it. Yeah. But I think this is why. It's just been, I haven't met anybody. Well, I've met potentials, but then it just showed, but then we were on, on the same wing length, if that made sense. Right, okay. Was that on your, on your end or their end? I think it was a little bit of both in different times. I think it was... Like, not the right time. Yeah, or... not the right time. But I think for me, I've realized something. It's like, 
When is it ever the right time? Exactly. Or when is there ever a perfect time? No, there's mean, not. You, you just know? got to do it. And if you're both yeah. feeling it, then do it. If then not, that. and only one of you is, then, well, you got to accept that. Like, you know, it's like when uh, when somebody's like expecting things to themselves, like I'm trying to have a house or I thought yeah. I'd be there by now. And I'm like, well, you know, what is that going to change if you keep dating me? If you keep seeing me, how you're getting closer to the life you wanted if you don't think I fit in now? Yes, or, you don't fit that, that my life yeah, in that sense. Exactly. Or it's the same thing when like, you know, it's like, oh my God, I'm so busy with work. And like, well, babe, you'll always be busy at work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or, or if you're kind of like, I just don't know. It's like, well, if you don't know, it kind of shows. Well, yes. if you don't know, then I you don't want to be with me. Yeah. And I think it's always something where I'm like, um, yeah, I just kind of, I don't know. I think sometimes like, I kind of want somebody to try a little harder. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, I mean, I've seen that recently. And, like, a lot of girls have been saying that on their Instagram stories. Mm-hmm. Like, just try harder. Like, and again, and, it, and in my point, right, before people go, we're like, yeah, but we can't all buy for it, like, you know, diamond rings. That's not what I mean. No, it's not like that. It's no. the effort you put in. And just the effort of being like, like I said, for me, it's as simple as emotional support of uh-huh. just like, oh you had a bad day like let me come over let me just see how but then that's are. also down like, to you know? communication though like mm. if you're having a bad day and you don't really want to speak like that then uh, you just gotta vocalize that but that's why you I mean, can't read your mind but that and that's funny that you say that because the person that i liked was literally what you just said i would i would kind of go hey this has been going on and it'd be like a complete lack of like or when they would get mad yeah they would just kind of like shut down completely and shut me out and oh. i would have to be constantly like what's going on right are you annoyed no i'm not uh and i'd be like okay I, but i can clearly tell you're annoyed though. yeah and i'm there like what am i supposed to do like how are you supposed to have a conversation yeah. with somebody like that you, what? you need to communicate like how are you so then at some point i just kind of went like yo like th- i don't I like you. I want to see where this goes, but yeah. I don't understand how we can have any kind of relationship. Yeah. If if you get if you know shut me down and you just decide that you're not going to say anything, and when I try to talk to you and I go, look, this is how I feel. Mm-hmm. This is what I feel is going on, and then I get a silence response, and yeah. then I get an I don't know. <laughs> how, how am I supposed to deal with that? Because I'm pretty vocal. Uh, I, I didn't. Maybe I wasn't when I was younger. Maybe I wasn't when I was 18 and Sarah. But like, I try to at least, even if it's like hard for me to kind of just go, look, uh, this been going on my mind, or mm. I, I like you, and we haven't really talked about whether we're exclusive. Da, 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 yeah. da. Those conversations are hard for me because I'm kind of like, you know, I could make a complete fool of myself. You yeah, know what I mean? Feel it's like, like, no, just, I feel like that's just how everyone feels you know? in general. Don't. They would feel like, oh, well, I've just put myself out there. Like exactly. That, but I've I realized before. something because like you, you, you will probably get hurt if the person is not able to communicate. I don't even. Yeah, that. but you get over it. But you know what I mean? And I think it's like it's like a muscle. It's like the more you do it and then it's like you become you start building your wall up. Exactly. <laughs> that's what happens. It's like, well, that's the thing. But I hope that it doesn't do that for me ever again. I hope it just puts me more to be like, well, you know what? Let me speak out earlier. So then I can. That's another thing, though. Yeah. You got you got to state your intentions from the beginning. Mm. I mean, I'm learning that now, like. There's people that I've been speaking to and I'm just like, I, I let it go on for so long that I get put in the friend zone. I'm just like, and then we have this conversation later on and I was like, I thought it was this. And they're like, yeah, it was this at the beginning, but then you let it go on for too long. You didn't start saying things with your chest. I'm like, Fuck. Say a thing with your chest, Paul. Listen, that's it. I'm, I'm learning <laughs> now. I'm deep. just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, shit. Now you put me in that friend zone and I'm just like, ah, that's, that's a hard place to come out of. Well, but I'm just like, well, yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, I think it's just something when like sometimes you know you just gotta like, and then don't get me wrong, there's sometimes where because I've said before, like yeah, I want to be casual, and yeah. then you realize that you go down so well with a person, you're like, oh, you know what? Okay, that can go somewhere else. Mm. So like sometimes I'm not saying you you don't change people's mind. It's just you go in a certain. I think yeah, you have to talk, and if you don't talk, and if the and this is what I mean, it's like. I'd rather know now if somebody's incapable of talking because, and I don't mm. mean like, you know, as I know like the guy's going to be like, girls always want to talk. It's not about that. It's more, if you can't even tell me, because I, I don't know about you, you're a guy, so maybe you can tell me, but that I've had when I'd go, okay, look, I've been thinking and kind of like, this is weird for me. I don't understand why you're like that. Yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah, yeah. And the guy's incapable of a line of sentence. Yeah, because yeah, we don't know say. how to uh, how to open up and and express feelings. But and it's stuff. almost like he need, he. I feel like he would have needed an extra twelve hours to figure yes. out what to say. That's that. But that's what that's what it is for most guys. Most guys don't know how to do that. It's because we we got we grew up in a society where like men are not like we're not we're not shown or told to mm. like uh, to show our emotions and stuff and but i feel like emotion to just say to just say look like because for me that's logic. It's, 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 it's emotions that's connected with co- communications because we don't know how to communicate in that sense it's all new i mean, I mean it can be new to, to women mm. too but 
for most guys it's like oh men don't cry kind of thing and it's just like well we do cry yeah and it, we do like, cry and we do and we do get emotional we just don't show it in that sense and we don't like that to be shown to people and it's like fair enough which is like but i think for me it's like because i could go down the route you know what every guy's like that and then not but like i know so many people that are not like you're not yeah. like that but flatmates not like that people that certain people i've met are not like that yeah and it's something where so i'm kind of like we're not you know most guys i've met are like past their mid-20s yeah and i'm kind of like if at this point it's the older people even... that's what i mean it's people that's gone through experiences and and their own shit that you start to realize, oh, maybe I want an older guy who yeah, knows Yeah, but even shit. then, I've still met but like... But like, yeah, as I said, yeah. sometimes, but it depends on their experience. Like, maybe. older guys, some older guys have, have only dated like one person for the whole life and then now they're single and it's like, how do I do this? And it's just like, well, you have no experience it's like, like that. Well, but like, it, it depends. It, yeah. it depends on people's experience. Not so much age, I don't think. No, I don't think it's age. It's but definitely But obviously, experience. in terms of age, it's more like the older you are, you that means you've lived a, lot, lo- a bit mm. longer. So you should ideally have a bit more knowledge and experience but that's not always the case for everybody but i guess it's it's also because i don't know i'm just kind of like you know you have to you have to say something because it's like you know because i think you know you know how you feel in general yeah yeah yeah. you don't know how you would know if you're attracted to someone from the beginning like if you want to like you know what like i want this to carry on i want this to become more i want this to just stay casual and so for me i can't deal with somebody that's just like Oh, I really want to continue this with you, but I, I don't know. And I'm like, am I talking to a five-year-old? Like, it's like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, is this a discussion whether you want to go to Disney World or not? And you just can't decide. Like, I'm just like, I'm just like, no, at this point, I can clearly tell you. Yeah. If you're, for me, if you're hesitating or if you're like in between, I'm just kind of like, what the hell? Like, I'm not a brand muffin. You're deciding whether you want good for your health or not. Yeah. Like, it's like, no, it's either you, you kind of already know. And I think... For me, I've just became a little bit more abrupt where I'm like, okay, well, you know what? Let's end this. Ooh, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. It still hurts like hell because I think it always bothers me when... Because I'm like, well, this could have been a mutual decision. It could have been a, a good discussion. Yeah. Whatever that continues or not. But in general, where I've had these issues in the past where I say, even with my long-term relationship, a six-year relationship, it was very much of a one-sided... Yes. It was very much of a one-sided. I'm like, I feel like we're not happy. I'm not happy. Uh-huh. How do you feel? And I'd get a, well, I'm not unhappy. Okay, yeah. you want to elaborate on that? And then I would just get a silence again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, and I just, I just can't deal with that because I'm like, well, what are we supposed to do from here? Because now you're forcing me to take a decision on my own. Like you're, you're forcing yeah, yeah, my yeah, hand yeah, yeah. to do something because I have two choices in that case. I can either go on in this silence and carry on and say nothing yeah. or I can just, then, or I can end it. Uh-huh. And you're not giving me any choice. But then I, in general, maybe it's just a guy, thing guys do, but I feel like because they're not strong enough to even end it themselves, they kind of force you to do it. Or yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I some think guys. That's are, such a coward shit. I, to I know do. some guys are like that. That they, that they would just they would take they would take it as far as they're gonna push that person to the edge to be like, okay, now you've pissed them yeah. off that bad. They're like, you know what? They're gonna be like, I'm I'm done. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, because I've done that petty shit before when I was eighteen. I've done yeah. that to my first boyfriend Damn. and i was just i was such a coward and i didn't know how to break up with him and it just i wasn't feeling it and i was in a bad place and da 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 so i just kind of like literally like just did everything for him mm. to kind of went to that point where and then he didn't he was just so understanding and caring Damn. and he wouldn't and at one point i just i i was the worst i literally ended things with him on um emerson messenger Damn, that's all bad i was cold and i remember but, but you know what's funny is because i thought about this for many years after that where i was like that was such a dick move i can't believe <laughs> i did that and i actually apologized to him on facebook Ooh. and he was like and he was again the same super lovely person that i've met uh. he was like you know what I completely understand and actually like after this happened to you it happened again with three other girls and I feel oh, so shit. bad. He was just the loveliest person. I think he just needed to grow a little bit more thick skin to set his boundaries uh, with people. He's a nice guy. You know, but he's a nice guy but I think it's, it has nothing wrong with that. I think it's just the boundaries of how far he's allowing people to go. Oh, okay. There's nothing yeah, wrong yeah, with being yeah. nice but I think it's kind of to tell somebody like you know what this that's not okay I'm not yeah, accepting yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. and this is how you basically don't let people take advantage of you and and they can either end or it can continue but this mm. is how you stop people from going to a point where she cheated on me but I'm still there you know like cleaning her shoes and well, like, no, all that, that kind of shit where no, you're like I'm absolutely not fucking not like and this is why I again. think you know <laughs> not again. Never, again. <laughs> never again absolutely not it, it's something where I think for me I, I need that and it's like if you if you can only show me like affection during sex or if you can only say because I've had that too 
I'm a guy that's like, oh my god, I want to have babies with you, and like, what did you say to that? Like, well, surprisingly, you'd be surprised in the moment, in the moment of sex. He's like, yes, have like, my babies. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I will have everyone. your babies. Come Hell inside yeah. me. Like, you know, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> were you there? Or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, and it's like, and in the moment, you're like fully. Oh my god, yeah. Like, like, come on, don't you say crazy shit during sex? Yeah, of course. Like and then you do it, like, you're like, oh, fuck. Why did like, I just, why did I do that? Well, to be fair, I was kind of... Nut clarity. That. I call it nut clarity. Because, like, you bust that nut and you're like, Well, yeah, oh. it's like, basically, yeah. You, no, you come back to your senses. A, you come back to a cum lover. It's basically, you're like, you're You come back to your senses. And you're like, you're like oh, like, shit. Why the fuck did I say this? Why did I do that? Well, yeah, exactly. You and know? Wrong. Like, and I have it too. But I do think it's like, you know, when you profess your love like that and you tell somebody how much you want to be with them and all this Oh, that's the worst place to have that. Oh, you had just having sex you're like i love you you are like whoa <laughs> that's happened to me actually and i was all, but sometimes they're like, yeah, like yeah i love you too yeah i know yeah, yeah, yeah well that's what happened and i was like oh, okay cool and then you realize <laughs> wait i don't love you like that i loved you in the moment not 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 like now not like well this general. is what this is when I realized because then you know and then uh, then a week later then some shit like they were like you're like well i really like you but i don't know and then you're like but i thought you said you love me you said you want to have my babies you said you want to like yeah. what like how does this happen yeah, but yeah. then like you said like what you said before well one of your videos and i feel it's when you fall in love with the idea of it the fantasy yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like i think in reality like it would be so dumb to for me to have a baby right now like yes. i don't have my own apartment i don't have, i yeah. can't accommodate a baby i'm like just getting on my feet and building my empire yeah. it makes no sense for me to have a baby right now but yeah. the fantasy of thinking oh i'm building a future with that person and we're uh -huh. talking about these things and it feels like you know big and amazing and it's yeah. so sad that you know when you're like in that physicality when you're looking at each other's eyes oh my god coming in each other's eyes is amazing <laughs> like, i'm sorry but like this is like wow. insane Okay. I was like, I'm sorry, am I, am I sharing too much? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. It's true. Have you never stared into somebody's eyes when you're both coming at the same time? It's insane. Yes, I have. I yeah. have, I have. It's, it's like, it is. It's ooh, the best feeling. You know what's also great too? When what? you look in the mirror. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. God. yeah. I I, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to. I've always wanted to have a, a mirror on the ceiling. I thought about that, so I, I wanted I, to go. I've always <laughs> wanted one of those just to have that ex as an mm. experience. I wanted to go to, like to a hotel room or somewhere where you have like like windows uh, like not windows mirrors everywhere yes and you could just see every and i start because it's funny because it's not so, crazy. so it's something I, I realized with this guy i was just seeing casually yeah. like uh, a couple of years ago and he was really into that yeah and then i was like and then but i had never tried it oh so it was like like nobody they know the, the um, like my serious relationship and stuff i mean like, i've tried it really like in that. a normal mirror mm. like a mirror that you can catch mm. but like no yeah. no but he would be fully like hold on lucy like let me put you right there and yeah, like, be, like you, you know and then, so he was like i don't know i mean then and he you're was, both like, watching each other in the mirror that's, that's what i mean sexy. and then no oh. he would be literally like lucy look over there and like look and i'd be like you, you know? see yourself get hit from like, behind oh and also that by the way that's something that that you know that manly like you do this sit right there like oh, that's yeah, something I'm not gonna of, lie that's like super sexy being told what to do like there's just be very like because it feels being dominated, it's, it's you're dominated, like being dominated but it's like you're, you're dominated in a caring way you know mm. it's like like you're, you're like you're getting yourself what about led, being slapped do you like being slapped yeah oh in what way though I was like what do you is mean there in a what level? way because like because some people I like mean, don't don't put, don't give me a black eye <laughs> no no that's <laughs> punching like, that's punching because like sometimes like when like when when a girl was like oh yeah just slap me like I'm like okay I'm I'm like I'm so trying I, to gauge you know what level is? because I could slap the fuck out of you <laughs> and just be like and you be like that was too hard <laughs> do you know what I mean no so I, you kind of have to find like a happy medium yeah and if they're like hard on you like all right I'm yeah cool. so I feel like wow. in general guys think we're way more softer than we think I I can speak for no woman, which are you dumb no 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 because pain tolerance that, is high because I remember yeah that's you what I'm telling can, you you have to Fucking but push you guys a baby out your vagina. I remember being that, in bed. That, 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 that's crazy. And then you go through menstrual, like your period pains. Yeah, exactly. Fuck. Which is like, because I, I remember, like, I always remember being in bed and being like, like he was holding my neck and I was just like, hold tighter. And then, like, and I would be like, hold tighter. No, but like, I like when, when, when they're vocal like that. Oh, I'm saying, but at one point he went, if I hold it tighter, I'm going to bruise you. And I was like, I don't care. I don't care. And like, I don't I'm care. telling you it's too much. I'll tell you it's too yeah. much. Yeah. Like, Fuck. you know what I mean? And it's like certain things where I think also, by the way, you got like, let's just be clear. You got to be slightly careful because one time this one guy. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So you have to, like, you have to. There's a, there's a <laughs> way. Little tutorials. Little <laughs> 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 you know, tutorial one ah. one you choke somebody. You have to hold to the sides. Because if you push on the larynx, you can actually break it. Yeah, And then yeah, this yeah, is yeah. when you're actually going to cut the breathing. If you hold to the side, you're just putting pressure. You're but not that's what actually... you do. You don't. I wouldn't hold. No, but here. this guy would. 
push forward. Oh, 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 and oh so he, he tried would, to get he, more grip. Yeah, so, but what would happen instead of just holding to the side, I'm going to make a demonstration. <laughs> so, <laughs> harder, Lucy, harder. harder, harder. So you know when I'm, I'm here, I'm just tapping yeah. you on the side, right? But now if I start doing pushing in, yeah, yeah. now I'm blocking your breathing. Yeah, yeah. And this is what you, he was yeah, doing. It's, that, it's, my, it's my Adam's exactly. apple you're pushing right and now. Exa oh. And exactly. That. And that's when you push that, this is where you got to be really Because that's yeah. where it can get really dangerous. You can actually you gotta be safe. You exactly. got to know, you gotta know the, general, the human anatomy. I think, and again, communication comes in. And yeah, you yeah, that's communication. But there. I did realize guys are a lot more prude than girls. Or at least in my experience. Yeah, no, we are. Like, I, I, I feel like, yeah, we are. Because we don't know the levels... But then that's not But I feel like so when I because like I told you before, it's like I've passed that point where I'm like, ooh, I'm trying to pretend I'm like this because you're the ways you might think I'm a whore. I'm like, bitch, if you think I'm a whore, you can go somewhere else. Like, nah, <laughs> girls are I mean? girls are whores like, in the bedroom. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, but it's like, but like, you know, I mean, it's like, I'm me. not gonna yeah. pretend to, you know, ooh, I'm only gonna show you my level once. Where don't get me wrong, they're like for me, I'm just kind of like, if it's in the moment and it feels great and we feel like we have respect for each other, we don't need yeah. to be married. It, like yeah, that's just yeah, my yeah. thing. However. Like, I've noticed because I'm very outspoken about what I like and what I want. I've yeah. noticed I'm definitely scared of, <laughs> like, people I've been with, for sure. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, they just, they just, they just weren't ready for you. That's yeah, they was definitely not ready. But I think in general, like, I've been told in the past, like, whoa, like, I'm not used to somebody, like, just speaking out like that. And I just don't understand why, because... Because like, they've only been with girls that, like... Yeah, that but then what's the point of having nah. sex? Because, like, okay, if I like A, yeah, I like yeah. A. yeah. But you do B. Yeah. But B is socially acceptable. But I like A. So yeah. why am I going to pretend to like B? Because so you like socially, I'm like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> she said A. I like A. I didn't even think that. But I was like, yes, I do like A. Damn. Again, so <laughs> I've never tried A. No. I cannot believe not, you have not, not tried like, A. No. Not like me giving A. No. Oh, not not oh, taking oh, it. Oh, so you've tried it when somebody gives you A. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, just make, I'm just putting so that out there and making sure people understand I've never tried so it. So I do tried like A. No, like, for sure. Like absolutely, I think it's like a hundred percent like something, and it's like you know you you raise. I don't even understand the process of it. Like, does it just go in? Like, or no, do you, you have to. Do you, you have to like kind of prep it? And you be have like, to prep. But when I say prep, it's the same way you would like go down on a girl and finger her, etc. You have to do that. You have to. It's the same thing because you have so much sensation. But like, what about like? Do you not have to clean like I like I started seeing like these little tubes that fill yeah, up so, with water uh, that you put that in. No, that's put the more water basically in, obviously, just to flush it out, just to make sure you all clean up oh in my there. God, this is I mean? gonna be so gruesome, but basically, obviously, you want to make sure that your ass is not full of shit when you do. Yeah, it. Yeah, of course. But in general, you don't need to actually like it's not you need to do the laboratory cleaning before you go. Or at least I haven't. Right. I was like, I don't know if I'm being like. I was like, I don't, I don't know. At least I haven't. <laughs> Talking I about like, eighteen. I'm sorry, Paul. Over eighteen. Yeah. I. It's like, I, I just think, like, in general, obviously, you've got to make sure that everything, like, is clear. Yeah. If that makes sense. But some people go with the douching. Some people don't. Like, yes, that's what I mean. I was douching. I that's have... what it's called. All right. You're back. Yes. So you were talking about anal <laughs> and how to how to douche or anal, how to how that works for you. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm very spontaneous. So like, I don't, like, I don't prep, like, hours in advance or anything right. like that. So I would say, like, you know, everybody up to their own point. Like, yeah. but I, I would just say, obviously, just make sure your ass is clear. Aha. Uh -huh. Pretty much. But you okay. don't need to, like, do some crazy prep of have you Have you ever um, come from anal? Yeah. I okay, I, I, I want to ask. I need to know. <laughs> absolutely. I, I mean, I, I very much enjoy it. I don't uh -huh. think it's something I can't do it like days after days because obviously it's a. What's the what's the after feeling like once you like it's, you're done? Like, does it hurt? Like, no, it what is it like when you take all. your next shit? I guess sometimes it can feel a tiny bit uh, loose. No, a tiny bit sore. Oh, uh, okay. Tiny Ooh, bit sore, like, like, no, like no, you've no, had no. some like oh, spicy food and then you just mm. is it that kind of feeling? No, I mean. Oh, no, a tiny bit like that, but not really. Oh. It can be just a little bit. It, it can just be like, you know, because obviously you've put something like you've <laughs> extended the hole, if that makes sense. So, but it's not hurting, if that makes right. sense. It's just a tiny bit sore. Oh, damn. You know, like like you've been beating up the vagina all night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get that because yeah. I know that that's like, and then they're like, oh, I'm sore. Exactly. There. I'm like, yeah, mm. okay. Yeah, I did that shit. That's that, basically. Okay. Uh, what's the longest you've gone without sex? What's the longest I've gone without sex? Uh, hold on. Let me guess. Eight months. Was no. that close? Was no. it longer? This is shorter. Hold oh. on. Wait. Hold <laughs> on. No, I don't, I don't want to be. I want to be as accurate as I can. Oh wait, wait. Six months. Okay, I was six close. Six months. Yeah, I was two yeah, months yeah. over. It just it won't feel like a lot, but actually it wasn't that far. That's not too bad. Months, That's yeah. not bad. Six months about six um, months. Would you ever do it, or have you have you ever, or would you do an open relationship? 
No. No? No. I'm, the, I'm super open about so many things, but I just feel... Not about sharing someone yeah, that you're into. Yeah, no, it's like, like, it's just not for me. It's kind of like, I'm all about, you know, not having jealousy in a relationship, etc. But I just think it's hard to kind of already get to know one person. Uh-huh. That to try to be intimate and to be that with that person, like try to understand who they are, etc. Yeah. Like you just can't have that same relationship where they're trying to do the same thing with somebody else. It's like splitting your focus when you're already having a hard time, sp- like putting your focus on one person. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, that makes Definitely sense. Not. That makes sense. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done in bed that you think is weird? Like weird. that that's not normal to you. Hmm. <laughs> or some. Or what about if, if the weirdest thing someone's done to you in bed? Uh, if you can't suck answer. my toes. Oh damn. <laughs> I mean, I've I've been guilty of of doing that in the moment. Yeah. If they have cute toes, I'm like, fuck it. Especially like their legs are up in the air. Yeah, that's what that's what that's how I'm I'm just like. like, Sometimes just in the moment, I'm just like, it's there. I just want to just suck on something, but your face is like on the (laughs) on the bed, or I'm like, it's too far. I'm just yeah. Sometimes it's in the moment. Yeah. But I'm uh. I don't know. There's guys that have re- really weird, weird toes. Yeah, that yeah, thing yeah, there? Absolutely. No, I don't fuck with that. Yeah. I'm just like, uh. no. It's like yeah. I guess I guess it's like the weirdest thing because it's not necessarily the most erotic thing. No, for me I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> and like when they're like, yeah, I, just, I want to come on your feet. I'm like, what? No, <laughs> it's like, I I just, yeah, or like you know, like I need. Oh my god, mm-hmm. like I need to do things with your feet. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what? Like, uh, okay. Next one is what do you want to try sexually that you've never done? Sex toys. I was going to ask that <laughs> earlier. Have you ever? Because no, never listen, done sex toys. The ex brought that into my life, and I was like, "That's changed the game." Yeah, like it's a game changer, guys. Because some 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 guys get their ego like hurt. They're like, "Ah, oh, what? Can't I pleasure you in bed and that?" I'm just like, yeah, "No." I some guys, and I'm like, you, I don't "You can do that, that but then like, it heightens everything." <laughs> it heightens listen, everything. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so crazy. Like, I've have definitely... you not seen that thing that, that there, there was this little meme of this guy that has one of the the, uh, the massage guns and he was holding it and his fingers started Ooh. vibrating and the girl's I don't like, know if it's true like, no but, but like, I the... saw another one like that yes and then he goes to that like, baby we're gonna, do, we're gonna try something and then next thing you know she's in the bathroom I didn't know I could do that and he was all covered in but I don't know if that was real if, if that was fake oh but, okay like, that's not the one I saw the one I saw he's basically like mani- like he says his phone is manipulating his girlfriend's like making all sorts of faces which is like oh with those <laughs> like, oh with the yeah, vibrator yeah, the thing vibrator oh no thing. I was yeah, talking yeah. about the massage gun he was oh. like he held it because he held it and then because when you hold it like and you get to the highest level it like it makes like it would make your oh, finger like vibrate right, so fast okay. so I guess he did that and then oh wow okay that's a whole she's other squirted, but like I don't know man I'm it's kind like, of interested because I've got my own massage girl yeah, so I'm, I'm like I'm so I'm curious when it comes to like the, but sex the toys stuff. yes like, sex toys is crazy that's something I would definitely like to try yeah 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 you gotta try that mm. that, that that thing there yeah I mean not just like the, the typical handcuffs and the whips and, and no that, I mean like, like proper like you know all these little vibrator stuff oh and yeah that's a game changer I've done like obviously tying people to the bed and things like that but I haven't done that. No, that yeah. no. Tie them up so they can't move. Yeah, that's like. Uh, I'm not even gonna expose uh-huh, my like, secrets because yeah. I can't do that. Like, well, I'm come not on, gonna, I'm no, not exposing I'm not, my secrets. No, 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 no. What no, do you no, mean? No. No, okay, okay. I, I exposed <laughs> one, one, one well, secret. You know, after yeah. an hour. <laughs> so like, I've got my own little vibrator thing, yeah. And then it's just like I would use that. How many girls have you tried that vibrator? No, nah, no. I've only tried it on <laughs> one. I've only tried it on one, which was the which was the X, but like that shit works but not to say this is one thing I did with her like it's my dog barking <laughs> in the background oh boy whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, but I would recommend tying them to the bed arms and legs and then I would go down and then I put that on the clip and you can't and obviously that your arms and obviously amazing. your arms and your legs are just you can't move them so you're just you have to take it <laughs> even if you say stop you heard that before you gotta take you gotta take it you, you just gotta, gotta listen yeah because like i love to eat the pussy and like listen the tongue and then the stimulate like nah, yeah it goes crazy and then you switch it you switch it see now you're if you, like you know you're not I, i'm not gonna lie i'm just like you turn on right now because <laughs> then you gotta switch it because then you move you you move the little vibrating that that vibrates really quickly from the clip you put that inside and you hit the spot inside 
and then you put the tongue right. on the clip and then they just switch are oh, you like whoa wait wait wait, 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 wait this wait. is what i meant when you know how wait, to use wait, your wait, fingers wait. and your and your, and your toes what <laughs> now nah, it's a game changer it's, it's a, a game changer so Listen. absolutely this is what i would like to try okay cool noted guys take notes <laughs> Check uh that. okay um i asked that i've asked that i've asked that um Oh, I was meant to play another game with you. Ooh, play games with me, Paul. Yes, Toy we're about with my to. emotions. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the next game would be, who would you kiss, marry, and fuck? Well, oh, I thought you and were going to give me. I'm gonna give you free. Okay, I'm cool, gonna cool, give cool. you free, <laughs> free, free, cool. free choices, okay. and you have to decide who you cool. would kiss, marry, and fuck. Okay. Okay, let's put this. I don't know. I, I didn't even think of who yet. Oh, ooh, I haven't okay. even thought of who. I'm trying to think who we both. No. <laughs> Are you going there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> or like, or even if it's like, nah, celebrity eating is easy. That's like, uh, nah. Uh, okay. Who? I don't know if I want to throw people's names under the bus though. Oof, oof. That's that's the thing, right? You're like, ooh. <laughs> uh, you know what? We went this far. Let's just go. For we it. might as well. We, we might, might as well, well just go we all, all in. Well. Okay. Um. I need a third. I've got two in my mind. <laughs> oh, you need a third? <laughs> um, I'm going to need a sip for this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Easy thing. Easy thing. It's all guys, yeah? Uh, well. <laughs> so, who would you kiss, marry, or fuck? Okay. So, I'm going to say... Ronald. <laughs> myself. <laughs> Just to, just because we're in this moment uh, on a podcast, and uh, Jack Moon. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ah, guys, that's like, funny. By the way, just so you all know that, like, Ronald we all know, Paul, yeah, are, like my closest friend, and Jack is uh, like somebody I know quite well. So, <laughs> 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 right, okay. Let me. Let it's me a, it's a game. It's a game. It's, it's a, a game. game. You okay, have to cool. pick who let you're gonna me attach to. Think about this. Let me think about this. I mean, you could do one to me if you want, but, you know. <laughs> okay. That's up to you. Cool. I would... Hold on, let me think about this. There's three of them. Cool. The time is ticking. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think I would... <laughs> <laughs> I think I know Shut what your answers are. Like, okay, I would kiss you. Yeah. I would marry Ronald. Yeah. And I would fuck Jack. <laughs> I knew I had a feeling. I knew. <laughs> If I could have done my predictions, I hadn't seen that. Oh what man, you I should have asked your predictions before. No, I, did I know it. it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. That was fun. That was definitely that was a funny little game there. Oh boy, uh, Jack's gonna see this and be like, "Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah." He's like, mm. he's American. He sounds nothing like that. Uh, <laughs> I, that was not your American accent. <laughs> That's like, terrible. No, it's, it's a British accent. What do you mean? He's like, in it, governor. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay uh we're gonna start wrapping this up soon because we've oh, got a hell of we're a... gonna start rapping and i was like rapping oh, yeah <laughs> we're gonna go a to the b to the c no 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 not that d to the e to the a no 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 i don't know what e stands for <laughs> <laughs> so with 2021 at a get-go at the start um i mean it's kind of hard to like really ask you what's what have you got planned this year when like we don't even know what what's happening yeah, tomorrow yeah. Do you know I, what mean, I mean or when the next lockdown comes out or the absolutely. change but do you do you have any any thing goals in mind that you want to try and hopefully get done this year i definitely want to film a tutorial for my magic my style workshop yes. that is an absolute goal you gotta put out your youtube have... video that we filmed in the first lockdown because that's still pending hell yeah we absolutely people need to know like, people need to see people need to do that absolutely i need to do this and then i think i just want to be able to live a little bit more that would be my goal like because i feel like i haven't been able to live like i feel like i haven't been able to travel I mm, oh able i miss to traveling ride, you know? my god like i feel like i need if I have, if things reopen up at any point, they reopen up. Like I want to be able to, like you know, if there's like you know, I don't know, stupid as like game rooms or like oh, escape yeah. rooms, whatever it is, I want to be able to social experience stuff. more social stuff. Yeah, like yeah, wherever yeah. I've always said, you know, we should do this, and we never did it. I think it's time for me because I, 
like i want to go skydiving you know exactly like you know what i mean like whatever it's like walking on the o2 like oh. anything like that i just feel like once things that's what i want for this year which is obviously more success more but i really want some happiness and things yeah that yeah i feel, feel like everyone deserves yeah. some, a bit more happiness i'd be feeling alive i want to go to a concert Absolutely. and shit and exactly. like, you know what i mean like i want to do that i want to just smell different oxygen and mm-hmm. air in a different country i want to, be able I to feel the, like the sun on my skin like things like this that's what i want really for okay. this year for sure that sounds sure, good though sure. i feel like hopefully we'll see how it goes i guess for the end of this year okay one last game before we end, end this podcast i have a little bit more alcohol yeah. I, yeah. I can get myself uh, these are going to be quick fire questions mm-hmm. and you have to answer which one you'd go for okay um one two three four five six seven eight there's eight okay so, um, it's like saying red or black when you say black. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we have six of them. Okay. Quick fire questions. Answer them as fast as you can. First thing that comes to your head out of the two. Cool. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Three, two, one. Cats or dogs? Cats. Fila or puma? Fila. Orange or green? Orange. Stay at home or go out? Go out. Pizza or burger? Burger. Red wine or white wine? Red wine. Big or small? Big. <laughs> 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 always bigger, always better. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even get to the last one. The so last my one. Bad, my bad, go. The last one was long or wide. Long. <laughs> Wait, that's actually no. Why did I say that? It's always wider normally for me. Oh shit. <laughs> you said lo- my bad. My bad. I guess, like, I guess. Well, you know what. Like the, it, said, it revealed the truth, didn't it? <laughs> like, exactly, <laughs> exactly. That means that that's what you really want. <laughs> well, I mean, that wraps up the end of this podcast. I hope, <laughs> hopefully, you enjoyed yourself on this. I, I, I surely needed this. <laughs> I truly needed this. It's like okay, um, you needed refreshment. That? Yeah, I really, I needed that conversation, <laughs> that stimulating conversation, guys. I um, people, yes. Hopefully, everyone <laughs> else who is watching or listening enjoyed this uh, reveal. <laughs> about, about Lucy Camello. The Camello reveal. Yeah, that I do. This hence why style. H- hence why this podcast is called Spill the Tea because I want you to spill the tea about yourself so people get, can get to know you. Feel I like felt they, like I revealed way too much. I mean, myself. that's down to you. <laughs> that's down to how you want to answer the questions. But like, I guess I, I having a few drinks as, too, you know. Yeah, I, no, but I also answer them as as myself as i would always of course and that's what we want everyone to see like (laughs) behind all like the videos and instagram instagram is not real it's it's a perception of what we want people to see this kind of makes brings it back down into a human level that we want everyone to kind of understand it like okay that's what you really like so you feel like people can be like oh you're a fun person like they shouldn't feel intimidated or stuff because i know i'm speaking speaking for myself i know people I've always asked people what their first impression of me is and they're like, oh, I thought you were scary or intimidating. Really? Yeah. Or sometimes they feel like, oh, I feel like you were too arrogant or too cocky. I'm just like, that's fine. But then once they get to know me, they're like, oh, actually, you're actually not none of that. I mean, you are you, you are confident and et cetera or whatever, but yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not what I they thought I was. So it's always like that. 100%. Like first, first impressions are always a big thing. So I guess this is everyone's insight into Lucy Camello. My but insight. thank you. <laughs> okay. I said insight, not insight. The not insides in, of my not, inside. Not the, <laughs> you can clearly see where her head is at right now. Yeah, she's trying like, to have this like, conversation. I mean, this after, this after, after, after special guys. Yeah, I know. Special the, dark. Spill the tea after after midnight. <laughs> The slow down zone. We're about the to get juicy and stuff. Like, Damn. It's but, wide and long, guys. <laughs> Go for it. Damn. She said wide and long. Schlong. 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 It's very the bonus. Schlong. <laughs> it's the bonus. Bonus. Guys. Bonus content. But uh, thank you for coming through and My being pleasure. a part of this next episode. Um, very much had a lot of fun. Um, try and probably get you back, but I want to try do a bit more group. Uh, Ooh, podcast with a few more fun. people fun. Um, kind of different people who think differently and have a, de- a few more debates mm. and stuff and uh, but yeah that should be fun hopefully in the future um, where can people find you people can find me <laughs> gonna say something stupid <laughs> i know you were you looked at me and i was like i was gonna say in my insides 
Uh, listen, if you understand me and this is relationship, yeah. Oh boy, we can go all night. It's, 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 it's full of just sexual enviendos. It's like, it's like all the time, and it can go. It goes. It gets worse as we start. Like you know, once you start, once you pop the genie out, it never stops. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> it's it's exactly like that. It's exactly how it continues all the time. All the time. But on a yeah, people can find me on Instagram. Can find me on YouTube. Like, like I said, get me to 100k, please. Yes, road to 100k. And it's all the handles that at Lucy Camille. I'm trying to grow my TikTok. It's not. I was gonna say well. <laughs> you've jumped on the TikTok wave too. I mean, oh, I know we're know. late, but we're very newbies. But yeah, we're trying. We're trying. I hated it, but now I'm just like this is actually kind of yeah. Kinda he's done fun. some really funny stuff. Actually. Yeah, I'm, like I'm working on some on some more like fun TikToks in the in the pipeline. So so yes. Yeah. This is where you can find me. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh we'll see you guys on the next podcast. Uh we are spill the tea on Instagram, so go follow that and subscribe go give to the YouTube channel if you want if you tea. watch the video too. I don't know what that was. What did you just say? I don't even know what you said. I was talking. <laughs> What did she say? I don't know. Don't Damn. mind me. This is Corona talking. This is Corona. Uh, corona <laughs> talking. The talking. coronavirus is talking to her. <laughs> Shit. But okay. See you guys later. Peace.